Welcome, everybody, back to my homestuck. Let's read. My name is Brodimus. Uh, I'm just gonna, let me just, uh, do a few teensy tiny things here. This, I feel like my mic is a thousand miles away from me today. <clears throat> um, rise up and conquer the world. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let me go in here, grab you, because we're gonna put this in the Discord, that we are live. It's the only thing I fucking use the Content Alerts channel for, but, you know, here we be. Um, <laughs> Come on, give it to me. What y'all talking about in Homestuck? It's June 7th. Why are you telling me there's an alert here? Shut up. Um, at Erwan. Uh, streaming more Homestuck. Send now. All right. Get out of... Ah, oh, Panthers won't be able to make it! What an SCP seminar by Dr. Bright. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> be that way. <clears throat> um, I think we got a couple of people who followed in the meantime. Let's see, I remember Meat or Yeet Cheetos. <laughs> Fucking, of course, I'm going to forget that. Um, and there is Gamer Leo Time at Midnight Moon 18. Thank you for the follows. Um, yeah. Hope everyone had an okay week. Hope everyone's doing okay. Um, I, I, I don't got much, so let's just get right into it, shall we? <clears throat> we are on page 5578. Roxy, jump ahead a little. All right, so that's what we got here. Uh, we're in the middle of, uh, Wizardy, Wizardly Herbert, uh, I believe is where we're at, so this ought to be fun. <clears throat> Herbert and Beatrix were dressed in fanciful athletic gear. That's what kids wear when they're about to embark on a journey to compete in some irrational magic sports. Herbert had got... Had, excuse me. Herbert had tucked under his arm a big stitched-up leather ball with golden springs poking out of it for no good goddamn reason. It was called a skabump. Beatrix had propped on her shoulder this funnel thing to be worn as a glove called a gimmage horn, a crucial appendage for any drudsel scooper worth her salt. They'd been selected probably for some valorous deeds they did to represent Fort Crow's Nest in this highly whimsical sports event. Reset was there too, but he didn't get chosen to play in the sports due to some poorly explained stuff that no reasonable person could possibly care about, even if offered loads of cash. He was mainly jacked into the scene to wave goodbye and wish them luck, which he begrudgingly did. <clears throat> Raven, hello. Hello, Rob. Uh, and hello, uh, Serax. Glad y'all could make it. Thank you for streaming today. It really helps me relax. The last week's been pretty stressful. Well, you know what? That's, I'm kind of here to help, uh, help everyone relax at the end of the week. With the videos going up on Friday, the streams on the weekends. Really just here to help myself and everyone else kind of just have uh, a nice wind-down session, even though Homestuck is kind of batshit insane a lot of the time. Hello, Tetris. Glad you could make it. Hope everyone's doing all right today. <clears throat> I just got back from taking my dog to the vet for her... Checkup. I don't. It's not. It's not like even a weekly. I think this is the last checkup she's had in a month, <clears throat> trying to fix her medical problems that she's had. <clears throat> but we are here. We're in the middle of, middle of Wizardly Herbert. I shall continue. He also put in some time dodging questions and averting eye contact from his friends. He was being a champion at that. Rosset, answer me. Beatrix demanded. Why the heck didn't you tell us, or tell Grant for that matter? Herbert wasn't paying much attention, so Russet was moody and cryptic and didn't tell people some stuff. What a bombshell. <laughs> he worried at one of the springs poking out of the redonkulous ball. It made a sprunging sound like a mouth harp and broke off. He wondered if the springs served any actual purpose. The springs did not serve any actual purpose. How could you keep something like that from everyone uh, that you knew all along? I just wanted what was best for Grant, he finally said. She had tons of questions but couldn't settle on the next one to, uh, next one to ask. She wasn't about to let good body language go to waste, so she did kind of that my... Kind of what mimes do when they don't like something you said. <clears throat> How long did he know Grant was... How long did he know Grant was from this dog shit wizard fic? How did he escape in the first place? Was it really his spell that sealed them here? How long had he, had he been planning this? She guessed that would explain why he had an absurdly obvious pseudonym. Grant Ananama? <laughs> yeah, like that's a real name. Great job, bro. Or should as she say, Slyness? She wondered if his bogus name wasn't an anagram for something, like a clue dangled under their noses. Magic bad guys do love their anagrams. <laughs> They're just so damn clever, and when you finally figure them out, it's like, whoa, instant mind fuck. Hey there, Salsa. Glad you can make it. How y'all doing? Uh, he's quite a troubled person, you know, B. 
uh, Herbert looked up from his, sk his skabump. Well, if Russet thinks so, then she gave up on the interrogation. Interrog interrog when you're dealt a shit sandwich, why go to war over who baked the bread? Russet could stuff his dumb secrets in a sack for all she cared. What did she ever see in this moping tool? She never thought she would long for those times before they met, the old questing days before all this started. She was never exactly psyched to watch Herbert assault a crazy old wizard with a pistol, but now... Okay, she wasn't saying she wanted to see any, uh, any more wizards get shot. She just meant she would trade all the badges in the world to go back to when things were simpler. It was time to go. The narrative's invisible conductor let them know with the arrival of a carriage. It was drawn by two floating, perfectly immobile wooden horses. Herbert read this thing, r read this thing a hundred times, but still couldn't understand the author's fascination with flying, rigid wooden horses. Fighting Jorno, how you doing? Glad you can make it. <clears throat> Fighting Jorno, damn. I just flashed to the end of fucking Veto Areo. Fuck. <laughs> Herbert held open the door with a bow and gestured her in with ironic chivalry. The text didn't let go of uns didn't go unsaid that was meant what the f the text didn't let it go unsaid that was meant as a big fuck you to Russet, thus keeping the rivalry brewing. But in truth, neither dude was feeling it this time. Beatrix got in and they were off, rigid horses, carriage, and all into the sky. They turned around in their seats and waved to Russet below because a poorly written sentence said they were supposed to. Beatrix smacked her forehead. Not an anagram she quoted from her brain. What he asked that fucker. Roxy skipped to the end. <laughs> this is painful to read. <laughs> <coughs> Herbert took a swipe at the clumsy yet elusive skabump. The orb ducked under his arm and shambled on its way like a husky beetle with some stuff to do over there. The crowd of almost people roared generically at the almost snatch. The maneuver, if successful, would have locked the score at Queen Six Love, which really would have been just, wow, something else. Possibly exciting? Herbert still didn't quite understand the rules for the game, and judging by the antics of all the other boobs on their floating wooden horses, the author didn't either. Herbert struggled to turn his horse around to pursue the, the skabump, but his, his mount of rigid lumber was unresponsive, as much as he reminds himself he just couldn't get used to the fact that the story was in control of the horse. Dead ahead was the league's elite Drudzel scooper, who was fussing with the laces on her gimmage horn while her horse idled. She looked up. Herbert, watch where you're going. I can't. I think the book wants us to crash. Fuck. Hey, Pen. How you doing? I'd probably read Grizzly Herbert. I, this is, this is like a, I, I, I feel like my brain is melting. Beatrix thought about it. She almost kicked the sides of her inert stallion to prod it along, but caught herself. Do we really have to? Herbert shrugged. Another solid half minute of awkward horse advancement went by before the creaking oaken collision. Herbert tumbled through the air and hit the grass pitch hard on his back. Beatrix landed on top of him. They found each other face to face. Is she serious with this? She asked regarding the, the hella subtle way the author decided to craft uh, this situation situation <laughs> is was like puppetry in motion plus horns is i'm afraid so i'm afraid so i think the story is building romantic tension between us <clears throat> uh, it is it was not a question but a statement of major concorn sir <clears throat> oh the connection's bad my fucking my computer was fucking up it might be me if i'm perfectly honest i don't entirely know i don't know because, like, even just recording today was fucking up and everything. Epic book. Well, I mean, the, the VOD will be good on uh, Monday Tetris, so if you have to go, I'll sad to see you go, but at least you can catch it later. <clears throat> uh, it is It isn't a question. It's a major concern. Yeah, it is establishing the groundwork for romance between our caricatures. Caricatures is sort of like the one token hero ter heterosexual romance in the book. We probably just have to ride with it. Beatrix didn't didn't know what the felling of color red wash, but she clowned clout could swear the felling she could swear the feeling the feeling scrapping onto your face. Doint right while drunk, you lushy dumbo. Roxy, doint right while drunk. <laughs> uh, Persona 4 Golden's on Steam now? Ooh. Ooh. I never played Golden. Like, in sittings, not all at once. I have limits. <laughs> That's fair. <clears throat> Alright, later, Jono. Glad you could stop by for a second. Have a good one. <clears throat> you decide to take your own advice. You'll just wait a few hours to sober up before continuing your hero's metatextual adventures through an even crappier wizard fic than your own, which you yourself wrote it anyway. Contrary to what your loyal readership of Zero may believe, being impaired is not actually constructive to the process of engineering awful prose. Well, it looks like your island pal wants to say hi anyway. Might as well pass the time chatting with her. Your home, your home suddenly loses power due to the storm, which makes no sense. 
All devices in your house are powered by the portable green hubs you stole from the lab. That's weird. Your laptop continues to run on battery power regardless. Answer you, you. <coughs> Your and Umbra began cheering Tipsy Nostalgic. Hey, you. <clears throat> Thanks, Sky. You just cheered me. <clears throat> cheered. You saved me from myself from making more rude crimes. I'm going as a little treacherous. <clears throat> Dear. See you had, I mean. Um, yeah, uh. Kliapep? What gives? Wait, how do I know your name? I don't remember you telling it to me, but somehow I know. It's Calliope. Say something. Man, I am drunk enough without having to solve your dot puzzles. Um, am I even drunk? Actually, I don't think so. Why did I think I was? What is happening here? Calliope, talk to me! Huh? What was that? Thought I heard something. Look out window! I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, ugh. I'm waiting for something to like, fucking jump. I don't know why. <coughs> Interesting. Hello, Yasmin Moo. Glad you can make it. Is there something out there? Out here? How is that possible? When the window has no power. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what, the, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it is like a Technicolor dream crack in the spooky void. <laughs> and what is that? It's a little dot. Is it? Could it be? I was gonna say the Serenity. Oh my God, it's Twiggly Herbert! How <laughs> would a pal come in to see me from infinite nowhere? Say hello. Oh shit! Hang on, we need Serenity's uh, Serenity's translations. Homestuck Serenity Translations. I did that again. How did I manage to do that again? Uh, let's see. Where the fuck are we? Serenity! Hey, Lundbug. Let's see. Uh, say hello. I won't say hello. I won't say hello. All right, cool. <clears throat> Twinkly Herb, I didn't expect to find you here. Actually, where do I know you from? This is driving me crazy when we met. Shh! Callie, god damn it, can't you see I'm catching up with a good friend? If you want to join the conversation, feel free to start speaking in some something other than a load of dots. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> oh, shh. Well, fuck, wait, hang on. I'm at thank you? Okay, yeah. Uh, sh or shh. Gotcha, that's the shh. Got it, that's a bunch of H's. Okay, got it, I'm out. I got it, I got there eventually. <laughs> Sorry, I had no idea you were saying shush, but okay, I'll be quiet. <clears throat> this is thank you. No probs. Um, I also got no idea why I can suddenly understand Morse code, which, uh, you are all but, you are all but blinking at me through Twinkly? I don't, I, f I don't, wait, wait, hang on. I, I-D-G-I. I don't know what that means. I'm old. <clears throat> uh, the short answer is you are having a dream. It's so crazy how, like, that, that's what that translates to. <laughs> I don't know there's Starax. Oh my goodness gracious. There'll be plenty of time to talk soon, but let's please keep a low profile for now. Okay, fair enough. This is a dream. Now, shit kind of starts making sense. Your soul is like, pretending, uh, presenting itself to my subconscious in the form of Twinkly Herbert. Or, uh, maybe your soul was always in Twinkly, or... Oh man, theories are hard. I am being an embarrassment of science here. So... Oh, I don't get it. Thanks, Sarax. Thanks. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> I've, I'm with you now. <clears throat> Whoops. Uh, oh, my God. D don't mistake my dots uh, for letters. K. Callie, is that twinkly? It's in the woo. <laughs> <clears throat> LOL. But uh, what exactly are we being quiet for? Uh, so my brother doesn't hear us. Oh, no. You mean he's here? Already? Yes. He's passing nearby while uh, doing damage to the furthest ring. He is following a large party of ghosts in hopes that they would lead him to, uh, to me. Aw, oh, dang. Well, don't worry, Callie. I won't let your bro kill your soul. <clears throat> his, intent to destroy, or his intent is to destroy my soul. Then all that. You are very sweet. I miss you, Roxy. But there's uh, not much you can do at the moment other than remain discreet. Let's continue this elsewhere. Follow me. Okay. Where are we going? <clears throat> you tell me that a drunkard arguing with themselves through metatextual bullshit pros. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> you know that's fair, Raven. Hey, wait for me. Exit room. Okay, we're on exit room. 
The fuck? What happened to my house? Some stuff is different. I don't remember this. Kelly, do you know what's going on? No, but let's keep going. And what am I even wearing? What are these clothes? <clears throat> uh, it appears to be the outfit of a fashionable science woman. Oh, yeah, like a sexy science lady suit. That's pretty cool, I guess. Examine painting. Okay, we're not, okay, we're not, uh, there's nothing here. Hello, what, how are we here? Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god, that wizard! <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Fucking, that might be the thumbnail. Heck yes! He's so perf! Callie, check him out! <laughs> um, <laughs> that ain't even a painting. <laughs> it's so shitty. Did someone, like, grab a random-ass low-res wallpaper off the internet of a jolly wizard doing what appears to be the world's dumbest spell and saved it at low quality, then just, like, printed it way too huge? LMAO. <laughs> so that's a face. It's not even scale proportionately. It's stretched extra wide to fit this expensive as fuck frame. Is this shit, like... Literal solid gold? <laughs> I can't even deal. Whoever did this was a wonderful genius. Yes, but we have to go. Yeah, I'm coming. Sheesh, Callie. You gotta stop and sniff some roses now and then. By which I mean, I'll go some garish wall wizards. Such are the simple joys in life. <clears throat> of life. Anyway, in conclusion and in summary, dat wizard. Continue. <clears throat> hey, Don. How you doing? <clears throat> <clears throat> All of Rose's memories are mom's Roxy June. Oh, bear. <clears throat> Boo, yes, more choice zards. Uh, don't worry, I won't stand around fangoing over these ones. Well, maybe for a second. Look at that one. Dude means business with his resplendent beam of pure white superstition. Hey, wait, you're getting away from me. Then hurry up. <laughs> Hold on. What was that? Callie, hang on. Is there someone else in here? Oh, excuse me. Oh, man. It's, uh... It's like, uh, it's like Rose, way back. What fucking panel would that have been? Like, fucking 200? Fuck, man. Callie, wait. Call Abby. Was that? This way. Boy, it's... <laughs> I love it. Is she here? Is the battery witch here in my house? Remember, you're only dreaming. Mm. All that you see is coming from your memories and subconscious. Okay, I'll keep telling myself that. It is only a dream. It is only a dream. Ugh, my dream nerves are a wreck. I wonder if my dream house is in dream booze. No, bad dream, Roxy. Must not fall off the dream wagon. <laughs> Shh. <gasps> yep. Uh, through here. Okay, after you. <laughs> we will have more privacy here. More privacy? You mean in the observatory? Not exactly. Go through. Is that it? Is that all serenity? Oh, man, I remember this. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wow, I actually remembered that. Page 231. Fucking hell. Roxy, turn around. <laughs> Hello. I guess... Does Serenity not have any more lines? Because that's where it cuts off on the in the wiki. I'm just gonna go and close it. What's a pumpkin part in your waters? Apocalypse soon. <laughs> <clears throat> Snaz! Calliope? That you? Yes, it is I. Holy shit, the most pious and reverential of shits. Holy, uh, the most pious and reverential of shits. Turd in a church, Callie. You startle me. Sorry. But, yeah, so, hey, nice to finally meet you. Wow, we, you're pretty. So, when you said you weren't good-looking, it turns out that was a bunch of baloney? No, Roxy, I'm afraid it was not a uh, helping of your delicious earth baloney. Aw, oh, I don't say that. Also, you said you were a cherub, but if I'm not mistaken, you appear to be a troll. Unless cherubs actually look like trolls? Alas, we do not. This is not my true appearance. I have taken the form of my troll Sona. I wanted to look more presentable for our meetup. Unfortunately, my true visage would likely repulse or frighten you. That is not the first impression I would like to make. Girl, please, trust me. There's nothing you could look like that would make me scared of you or grossed out. I'm your friend, and I know you're nice inside no matter what, so... Could I see the real you? That is so kind of you to say. I can believe that a lonely person like you would be able to stop herself from recoiling at the sight of my monstrous face. But it is out of the question. I am much more comfortable appearing to you this way. Uh, really, it is, has more to do with my own dissatisfaction with the way I look than any lack of trust in your character. You understand, don't you? Yes. It's okay, Callie. You can go on keeping a cute troll. I'm just happy to see you. 
Likewise, I wish it could be under better circumstances, though. We may not have much time here. Where is here, exactly? Am I still dreaming? Yes, I have led you to a dream bubble of my own design. My imagination and thoughts dictate uh, what you see here. And I, uh, as I told you earlier, my brother is hunting for me, so I have created a little sanctuary and space to stay hidden from him. That's why I could not speak to you earlier. Uh, not out loud, at least. He is highly sensitive to my presence, so it is very easy for him to get his attention if, uh, his attention if I'm not careful. But as long uh, as we stand in the center of this vortex, we may speak as loudly as we like. No information can escape this dark pocket, so long as I maintain it. Uh, and seeing you, uh, seeing as you are a hero of Void, you make an ideal guest to bring home uh, for one who wishes to remain hidden. Though I will say the fact that you are my best friend is a lovely bonus. <clears throat> best bonus? For real though, it's so nice to finally see you no matter what you make yourself look like. I've wanted to tell you about all, uh, all about what's been going on with my, me and my friends since we got together. It's been so fun hanging out with them, even in spite of, let's be frank, some truly select teen drama. Mm, see how... Um, Mm, see how I'm kissing my two pinched fingers here? Mwah, it was like that. The embarrassing Tina Anigans have been sumptuous <laughs> and come highly recommended. Uh, no, but really, it's been great. And after some time IRL with them, it started feeling weird to think we were ever even apart. Yet, sadly, uh, it was not complete because the moment I met them all was also the moment I totally lost touch with my other cool BFFC from the webs. I tried calling and calling your name, but you never answered. I know. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. I knew you'd have answered if you could have. I guess maybe you hid yourself so deep in this dream I couldn't wake you? Damn, this must have sucked spending all this time here hiding from your asshole brother. Like, I know he's a dick. Uh, he's a dick. I talked to him enough times to get that, but why is he trying to kill you so bad? He's not trying to kill me. He's already succeeded in that. That's fucking rad looking. I, I ship it. <laughs> <coughs> the kind of this song has... <clears throat> uh, let's see. Ship so much bone. A uh, skeleton fucking <laughs> pen. Get out. <laughs> I'm surprised that wasn't in, in Undertale at all. A bone us pun. <clears throat> uh, on the day he found a way to kill my dream self, I was done for. Though, to be honest, I doubt I'd, fa I'd have fared much better regardless. I think his half was always meant to be predominant. My will was simply not strong enough to overcome his. You know as well as I how uh, you know as well as I how stubborn he is. I don't think he has ever even had uh, had even a smidgen of doubt to his, uh, in his thoughts or remorse for his deeds. Whereas I was always plagued by such feelings. Uh, on some level, I always knew he would win, but I fooled myself. I thought I could overcome his ego by looking beyond his negative qualities, staying optimistic, and working together with him in a game to accomplish something extraordinary. And that in doing so, perhaps I could begin to help him change, to teach him to evolve be uh, beyond his hateful nature. And as he changed for the better, slowly but surely, he would become more like myself. Uh, that was how I thought I could uh, predominate. It was how I was going to win. And really, if he grew closer to me in that way, by learning kindness and compassion, we both would have won. By my predomination would not have meant his absolute death, but our true union. But sadly, I underestimated how consumed he was with the need to destroy me. Now he is completely obsessed with finding my soul and wiping me out for good, even if it means tearing apart the reality that surrounds us. He will never feel he has won until all traces of me are gone. Ugh, hearing all that just makes me so unreasonably mad. Fuck that shit, Lord. I feel so bad knowing you died and there wasn't anything I could do, no matter how much I said your name. Don't fret, you did all you could. Isn't there some way we could bring you back? Some baller fucking magic or a bomb-ass fairy spell? I mean, could we find an answer on, like, for instance... Ye enchantments? Very unlikely. Dang it. Okay, then. If I can't do that, then I guess the next best thing would be to find your little shit of a bro and feed him a steady diet of his own ass. That is what we were supposed to do, right? I mean, from what I gather. <clears throat> the dude is rid ridiculous bad news. Just such brutal and stinky news. So eventually somebody's got to kill him. And that's probably us, ain't it? A little bit late. Not too bad, Vigim. We're only about 24 minutes in. <clears throat> Only a couple of pages because, boy, there's some long-winded conversations going on. We got Calliope. <clears throat> Let's see. This, uh, uh, this colorful and red as fuck. Yeah. We'll see about that. The higher the page comes, the slower you go forward. Yeah, it really is. The longer the fucking dialogue logs get. <clears throat> Where was I? I lost count. Right. It's true that he deserves to come up as, uh, like few others, but slaying him is not exa actually your responsibility as heroes now. In fact, if anyone's bear that burden, it might be me. Oh, yeah? 
Possibly. As we speak, there are hundreds of souls out here in the further spring walking to defeat him. Some search for a fabled treasure, a weapon set to spell his certain demise, while others say that my, I myself am this weapon, and so they search for me. They band together in great numbers for this cause, and attracted devastation in hopes of revealing the path to the weapon, while at the same time they draw his attention away from me, and it is a good thing that they do. I must remain hidden from everyone for as long as I can. Why? Why not come out and be all like, Hey, uh, here I am, yo, it's me, secret weapon ghost Kelly. <clears throat> because I'm no such thing. I was already useless against my brother when he was just a brat who liked to tease me. Now that he is an exceptionally muscular and invisible adult, my chances are laughable. No, if I am to contribute, I need more time. I must go and search my own weapon. What weapon? Ironically, the same weapon which many of them are looking for. Me. It's only the sl sl it's the only sliver of hope I have. I have reason to suspect there may be another iteration of myself out here. One from a doomed timeline, who is kept hidden for a long time, just like I have. But, unlike me, she supposedly came from a reality where she predominated instead of my brother, and not by the means which I described. Hers was not a mild union of reconciliation. Amazingly, her predomination was absolute, a major feat of will, just as his was with me. <clears throat> as such, she went on to play the game, and... Well, I cannot even imagine what followed, aside from the fact that she eventually must have died for existing in an offshoot reality. If she exists, I would be eager to meet her. It would be a chance to get to know a version of myself who is strong enough to override the will of my brother. Someone I might have become if I had a little, a little more courage. And if she is such a person, then I really believe all I have heard must be true. I believe uh, she is the key to defeating him. So I have no choice. I must go in search of myself. <clears throat> so, I'm stupid. Didn't Bull Deer have a bunch of spirals in in their part in Friendsome? Am I dumb? I might be dumb. I'm pretty sure I'm dumb. I'm probably dumb. This is really cool. This is really pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. <clears throat> None of you being dumb. <laughs> I mean, a, look, they don't have to exclusively be... be they got musically exclusive to your pen. <laughs> I like the broken clock is right twice a day. Oh, you're fine, Sky. We're only you know half an hour in. I thought there was a spiral in, in their in her garden. Yeah, I thought Boldier had the spiral in in the little Zen garden thing. Which you know, <laughs> and the cheek things. I don't know. I don't know if it means anything. If I'm perfectly honest, I'm bad at theory theory crafting like that. <clears throat> you sound like a real popular lady out here. Even you were looking for you. Indeed. Well, I hope you can find her, but if that's your job, to find Bizarro, Calliope, and go wallop your bro, then what is our heroic biz? It's the same as it always was, to win the game. Oh yeah, duh. It is as I once told Jane, with victory you may finally exit the vast whirling storm. By claiming a reward, you would uh, bring closure to a very wide coil of causality, one not tracing a continuous path like a snake, but intricately woven like a wreath. A ring... A ring! A ring of countless little rinse, rises and falls! <clears throat> a ring of countless little rises and falls, ascents and descents, on its way up and down a pair of much bigger ones by itself, from alpha to beta, then beta to alpha. As if a mountain to be scaled and then climbed back down, its peak touches the eye of a storm which cannot end until the moment you all walk through that door. <clears throat> Only then will there be calm. Ah, bugger, forgive me. Sometimes I forget myself and begin speaking in riddles. It's just a habit that is in the nature of my people. Yeah, I know. At least yours are better than your bro stupid games. Don't remind me. In my opinion, they don't qualify as anything of the sort, much the same uh, as his shitty twists. So then from what I'm surmising here, is we don't need to beat him to win our game. Like, dealing with him directly is kind of out of our domain. As the one who provoked the breach in Paradox Space, which I just colorfully described, he has always exerted his influence on your realities from afar and from many different angles, through unwitting surrogates, outsourced manipulation, outright enslavement, and even petty harassment. But most of all, he prevails through the simple inertia of inevitability that has always been on his side as a lord of time. Uh, and as the one who is to blame for foolishly allowing him to access to such power, it's only proper uh, that I take, him, take responsibility for finding a way to defeat him. But even though his methods of influencing your session are indirect, uh, they are still formidable. Uh, there will be a number of powerful foes who stand between you and victory. Tomorrow, a terrific battle will take place. When you wake up, I suggest you being begin to prepare. <clears throat> um, okay. How? How? Like, m make more sick gear? I could hustle up another batch of ill-wicked guns. Just a big old pile of guns. She can have the wimpy smaller ones. Make Jane, like, a fancy new fork or spoon or such. Like, an elite endgame spoon. Whatever that is. Like, uh, the chowder fucker 5000. She gonna be flipping her goddamn, her gut spoon around, bopping monsters, doing, like, cuckoo damage. Won't bother making nothing for Dirk since he's basically married to his boring anime sword. Like, you could even pry that thing from his rad dead cadaver. <clears throat> 
Yes, I'm sure new equipment would come in handy. Uh, now that you mention it, well before I died or even realized I would not live to play, I made special exception to my rule of staying linear with conversation. I messaged Jane a birthday gift. Uh, you see, I had a brief version, a vision from Skya, which suggested to me she could use a boost in morale on this special day. So I offered her something very dear to me, just a little token to show appreciation for her friendship. I hope it will cheer her up, and moreover that it will prove at least somewhat useful to your party. But really, at this stage, if you wish to prevail against such stacked odds, collecting boons such as these as new weapons and, tre and treasure will only go so far. I think you want to embrace a far more substantive gambit. <clears throat> Uh, for the thank you. I'm not very, I'm not very good at uh, Scottish accents. It's very exaggerated and probably uh, very offensive, if we're being honest. <clears throat> what was I, <laughs> I, I think Boldier is meant to be very like gender neutral appearing, which is interesting considering they deliberately called out that she uses she her pronouns in the route. But whatever, I, I'm down with it. Uh, Rip Maple Hoof Pink Dave's Biff, yeah, right, especially after the latest Befriend Us uh, volume, which y'all should go watch if you haven't yet, because it's a fucking riot. Crunchy Human Slashback. <laughs> Belarus, oh man. <coughs> there was a weird period of time where, like, that was, that was a thing, like, between Scandinavia and the world and Italia, like, humanizing countries. Italian accent. <laughs> All of it. After the stream, you should go watch the newest Befriend Us from yesterday. It's a fucking riot. It's so good. Also, hello, Ilde. I don't know if I said that. Hi, Ilde. How you doing? Glad you can make it. <clears throat> like what? Omdry, we're going to have to enlist Fafetta. Is Fafetta the secret weapon? It's Fafetta, isn't it? Poor, sweet, dear, precious Fafetta. It is not Fafetta. I am suggesting a measure that is much more extreme. I believe you should all strongly consider ascending to the god tiers. Oh. Okay, that sounds cool. What do we do? Well, of course it sounds cool, but it's not necessarily as easy as it sounds. Sealing oneself for death, believe me. But if you can find the resolve, then here is what you must do. Since none of you have any dream selves left, it won't do any good to sacrifice yourselves on the quest beds found on your respective planets. And even if you did, there's not even a battlefield from which to ri rise anew. No, or uh, a rise anew. No, your void session had only one path to ascension all along. You must travel to the center of the moons of Prospet and Durs. In there, in the crypt, you will find your sacrificial slabs. You must lie in them, and then, and then you all must die. One way or another. All right. All right? Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> Doesn't that thought make you nervous? Well, getting off on a moon slab ain't my idea of primo fun times or anything, but, like, you end up with superpowers after that, right? Yes. And some kind of semi-immortality? Yes. And cool costumes? Yes. Then what is even the fucking holdup? Let's plop our ass a slab and get down to dying. You seem quite cavalier about this, Proxy. Don't you have doubts? Wouldn't it cross your mind to wonder, what if I never wake up again? I knew it, I knew it would for me. I guess that's a fair point, but... You say I'll be fine, right? Yes, I believe you will. Then that's good enough for me. I trust you. <clears throat> start reading problems, Luth. I, I might eventually start reading that. I'm not entirely sure. <clears throat> but it sounds like we don't have much time. Uh, we don't have much to pull this off because foes are coming. Are coming? Who are all these foes you say we gotta beat? Those who I mentioned my brother has been exploiting as his pawns from afar. <clears throat> the most obvious would be the one responsible for the extinction of your race, and who also happened to be responsible for his most uh, this most fortuitous nap. Huh? Wait, how did I fall asleep? You don't remember yet? I remember a party and a sad Jane. A poor sad Jane with shitty fella problems. And a ruined cake! It was going to be so delicious, but no, it was claimed by the cruel, unforgiving sands of Lopan. I remember G-Cat. G-Cat! God damn it, G-Cat! He poofed me away with cat magic, and I got KO'd by a floor. But which floor? It was... a Durst floor? Oh man, was I captured? The Battle Witch has me, doesn't she? That's who you meant. What is she gonna do with me? <clears throat> As I said, she is his servant, and is obligated to do everything in her power to facilitate the cycle of his existence. And while nearly all she has done on Earth and on Dust has been to advance that scheme, that does not mean she's without her own agenda. I know that she would like to see my brother defeated as much as anyone else, for her enslavement, for double-crossing her, and for orchestrating her people's extinction. He always did loathe trolls. I suspect that I may be to blame for that, the, the misfortune as well, considering how he knew how much I fancied them. Okay, so, if she wants him dead too, and has her own personal secret plans or whatever, then what's she want with me? <clears throat> I believe she's looking ahead, beyond the fulfillment of her obligation. She's likely making plans for after she is liberated. She has lived as a ruler and conqueror for a very long, for a very, for a very long time, and probably couldn't have done so without such guile and foresight. If she has captured you, it's certainly for a good reason. I think she wishes to exploit your abilities as a rogue of void. 
<laughs> what abilities? I don't have any abilities except making screens dark, which has superpowers go as lame as hell. <clears throat> None that you have gotten in touch with, but rest assured you have them. It's like I told you before, remember? A fully realized rogue of void can do remarkable things. Uh, things which even other god tiers would view as miraculous. Like what? Why don't you see what it is the queen would have you do? Then you may look inside and determine whether you have it in you to do it. Man, whatever she wants, even if it is an enemy of an enemy kind of enemy of my enemy kind of thing, I don't think I can bring myself to help her. That is understandable. Just do whatever you feel is right. I'm sure you'll make uh, the correct decision. You see, I trust you too, Roxy. Oh, thanks, Callie. Oh no. <clears throat> Callie! What? Oh no! Roxy, turn around again. <laughs> what is she doing here? Mom? Mom? <laughs> Look at their happy little faces. Oh, they're so happy. <clears throat> oh boy, hang on. Uh, let's see. Fucking amazing. Self chapter seven. Humps of glory. Fenestrated windows. Oh, that's where I didn't know that fenestrated windows came from. Uh, death face is one of the humps of tome thing. Similar. Oh yeah, I guess it is. I've seen that before, but I haven't. I guess I never put that together. Mimic creature. Where's supposed to be problems with? Oh really? I didn't know that. I say that we pray for dream self. Ace Dick is the funniest. Truffle Shuffle. Yes, my mom. Mom Lalonde. <laughs> mom Squared. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, 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 no. This won't do it all. A light player. A light player. Have you gone mental? Why don't you just? Why don't we just burn a bloody bonfire in here? A spot us any minute. Assuming he isn't already on his way to blow us all to kingdom come. <laughs> Look at how happy they are, though. <laughs> Wake up powder? Oh, fuck it, that might be the thumbnail. Shit, third. Oh, shit, third. <laughs> Not that it hasn't been delightful, but everybody out! <laughs> Rise and shine, dust, faceful. <laughs> Who is the original mom? Yes, is the answer, Vitkim. <laughs> Off with you, love! <laughs> Anti-sleeping magics! Shoo, 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 shoo! Roxy succumbed to powerful anti-sleep magics. You wake up from your almost family reunion. It was almost a reunion, just as almost as it was an actual family member. You now find yourself in a Durst jail cell. Ow, your head. <laughs> What's that? Looks like a folder prepared for your perusal. Maybe a briefing of some sort? That sure is a gaudy looking classified file. Examine folder. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awful. <clears throat> Yuck, just as you thought. This was clearly prepared for you by the Condess herself. What the hell did she do to this thing? Did she actually kiss the folder? Oh god, she did. The lipstick is still tacky. You don't even want to know how she got those fat clowns to dance. And of course she slapped the portrait of herself right in the middle of the thing, like the egomaniac she is. Looks like she just snapped a shitty selfie with her mobile device, which you will bet dolphins to donuts probably resemble some sort of hot pink clamshell. You seriously cannot stand this woman. <laughs> Inspect briefing. I just love how Roxy goes off on the fucking folder. Sparkle dump. <laughs> fucking face. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, wonderful. A generous helping of glitter spills out of the document. You've been getting absolutely creamed with sparkly powder from eccentric alien bras lately. What's up with that? There's some other documents in here and a photograph paper clipped to the folder. Looks like she's outlining a task for you to complete while you're in prison. Wait, she wants you to do what? A blinky 2012 image? <laughs> you mean you ain't wrong. <coughs> <laughs> I love this face so much. Oh, the thing she wants to do is stupid and impossible. She must be messing with your head. You discard the folder like the shitty juvenile scrapbook scrapbooking project it is. Like you would help that hag even if you could. Get real, Condi. What was that? You think you heard a noise just outside the door to your cell? Examine door. Would you guys sacrifice Neva to save the mayor? Maybe. <laughs> I might be alone in this. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a, if one of them has to die, who do you kill? Uh, <laughs> is someone there? It's like, is everyone who saved the mayor? The mayor, the mayor needs to live. Um, <laughs> it seems that someone has left you a gift. What could it be? That's the thing, Nepo, in the, in the alpha timeline, Nepo is already dead. Is she supposed to die? When you pull a wreck on a save pole. <laughs> Fair. It appears to be some gentleman's plain and serviceable computing device, along with a courteous you're welcome note and a ring. Who could have left you such nice presents? CD, do happy umbrella dance. <laughs> 
yet another perfect crime successfully perpetrated. And by crime, you guess you mean order from a superior. In your experience, the best crimes are done are the ones which are totally legal. You are also satisfied with your accomplishment. You cannot contain your exuberance for another second. You have no choice. You absolutely must do the happy umbrella dance. Professional protocol be damned. Oh shoot, it seems you have misplaced your bull penis umbrella. There will be no dancing today. Now you're sad. <laughs> Pester Dirk. Poor CD. <laughs> <clears throat> Probably Dave. Oh, fair. Club's Deuce. Club's Deuce really is. He's fucking. I love him. Tips and nostalgic began pestering to me as testified. Stry Dizzle. It's Roo L Money. Do you copy over? Yes. Frig yes, my hacks are tight. So tight. Tighter than a jar you can't open. Like you try and try, but my hacks are so tight you just end up putting the jar back. Y'all just say, like I even wanted pickles that bad. But we both know that's just sour grapes talking. We both know you're still dying for my pickles, <laughs> motherfucker. Hmm. Oh, well, yeah, that was, that was way stop being a damn, uh, meaning a damn thing. Let me explain. I got this shitty PDA from somebody on the inside. Actually, you know, I think it might belong to Jane's dad. It reeks of manly cologne and there's a nice fatherly pipe on it. Maybe he's nearby. Oh my. Swoons. <clears throat> anyway, on Durs, they have this lame firewall deal where you can't connect outside. I guess it's good enough security to baffle chess guys, but it wasn't no thing for me to crack, even with this POS device. For real, what even is this thing? Probably some bargain junk from the Dadly Depot. Dad's bought literally everything from there in the 21st century, didn't they? <clears throat> You're the history buff, you would know. Yes. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, yeah, so I'm on Durs. Wow, I am telling the story as shitty and backwards as possible. I got G-catted here and dumped in jail by the Bee Witch, and she left an ugly folder full of uh, full of a thing to do, but who cares? So I broke out, busted loose as hell from the Hag Slammer. I got the sweet ass ring, it's so fucking magic you don't even know. Real magic, I mean not the fake shit. Uh, I put it on, and I turned invisible, and I was sort of intangible. I jumped right through the walls. Uh, now <laughs> wall, now I'm free as a bird, a secret bird you cannot see. Wink. Doing secret uh, secret flaps, incognito tweets, laying co covert eggs in a hush hush nest. Interesting. <clears throat> I forgot what Dirk's was. Interesting. I think that this ring is special. Like, it is maybe helping me helping me get in touch with my voidy powers, even though I kind of didn't know voidy powers were much of a thing till just now. See, I just had a knockout dream from bunking my head. Calliope was there. Calliope's the coolest OMG. You should meet her. She said a huge villain rumble is going down tomorrow, and uh, to get ready for that, we should all become god tiers. So you have to rocket your ass to the dirt to Durst, uh, A-snap. Come with me to the moon. Then, uh... I'll explain what to do when we get there. Uh, just go, uh, when we get there. Just get over here, okay? Mm. Yo, Dirk, you busy or what? Is any of this getting through? Yes. <clears throat> <clears throat> Fuck. <clears throat> I don't know if, like, my allergies, like, allergies are kicking up or anything like that, but I fucking, I can, like, a lot of fucking drainage going on right now. Now that I kind of kind of if you think about it. That's, yeah, hmm. Meow rails, I'm just happy together. They really do, as meow rails. <laughs> <clears throat> Best friends. Uh, um, okay, got anything to say? Arqueous Sprite, uh, Moira, Dave, but a Sprite. Ah, uh, fair, yeah. <clears throat> got anything to say about all that pretty important stuff I said? Are you alright? Uh, or is your face having some crazy attack of the sads behind those chill as fuck shades? Is it Jake problems? It's the Jake problems, isn't it? It's always the Jake problems, I swear to fucking God. Interesting. Oh, oh! God damn it. If I've been talking to the responder, the responder responder this whole time, oh my fucking god, I will shit enough bricks to build a fucking chimney. <laughs> it seems you've asked about Lil Hal's chat client autoresponder, Lil Hal Jr. This is an application designed to simulate Lil Hal's otherwise inevitably rad type and style, tone, cadence, personality, and substance of retort while he is away from the computer, which is never. The algorithms are guaranteed to be 0% indistinguishable from Lil Hal's native neurological responsive, based on responses based on some statistical raw data that is hard as a diamond golem's prices erection. Fuck, 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 fuck. Mm. How you piece of shit! I know damn well you can hear me, as if you're actually too busy to answer. You're a damn supercomputer. You do not need your own autoresponder, you idiot. <laughs> it seems you've asked about Lil House Chat Client Autoresponder, Lil House Jr. There's this is an application designed to simulate Lil House otherwise in admittedly rad type and style, tone, cadence, personality, and substance of retort while he's away from the computer, which is never. The algorithms are guaranteed to be 100% indistinguishable from Dirk Strider's brief curmudgeonly responses based on potent electronumeric analyses, which but a few short years ago existed only in the daydreams of your most I don't know what that word is. I'm from backwards Montana. Kixotic, kix, kixotic, kixotic, kixotic writers of science fiction. You are the worst. <clears throat> yes. How you douche or how junior, whatever it is I'm talking to. Where the fuck is Dirk? He's busy. <clears throat> Little Al Junior is the most important character in Homesuck. <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> mm. 
Bro, not to derail our serious conversation, but I should probably let you know that Roxy's been attempting to, pe to pester you. She has? God damn it, have you been interrupting my messages again with your bullshit responder? I thought it would be better not to let anything disrupt you, our train of thought. We were in the middle of a fairly solid feelings jam there. In fact, I was about to suggest we take you to the hat pile. Hat pile? What? Dude, please don't scream my calls, okay? I was trying to be considerate, or at least as close as an approximation to that hue and gesture as an unfeeling, technologically transcendental, transcendental pair of sunnies can replicate. Call himself sunnies. <clears throat> Do you have any idea how your old ironic AI shtick has gotten? Nobody's buying it. We all know you have legit emotions. Incomprehensible fucked up computer emotions, but emotions nonetheless. And I'm not really offended by your answering messages uh, for me so much as your use of the stupid responder responder. It's really passive aggressive. How so? First of all, everyone knows that you have the processing power to answer my any message at any time in parallel with whatever you're doing. You can never actually be busy. Second, your whole next-gen responder thing is obviously just a huge dick at me. And third, pretending you didn't understand all this already is really disingenuous. And if there is a compound in my disingenuous behavior, I'm going to have to ask, how is it a dig at you? It's obviously a critique of my personality. You barely disguise the fact that you see me as the inferior iteration. Wow, you are reading way too much into this. Lil Hal Jr. hardly even qualifies as a computer program, let alone a sentient entity. He's capable of saying literally only three things. Yes, hmm, and interesting. Yeah, that's the fucking point. That's how you chose to express your parody of real Dirk. You can read whatever you like into it. I can't imagine it would bother you if you weren't concerned there might be some truth in the alleged parody. In any case, my use of the responder responder is ironic. It's not ironic. You were ironic when I made you. Then you became self-aware and ruined irony forever. Irony can never be ruined. We both proved that theorem unequivocally with our extensive papers on the subject. We peer reviewed them for each other, remember? Those papers are ironic and you know it. Were they, Dirk? Were they? This is fucking dumb. Anyway, what does she want? Who? Roxy. Nothing. I can wait. Fucking. <clears throat> <clears throat> fucking hell. Airy cat. Uh, Aaron isn't so... Yeah, Pubbles von uh, Viceroy is most important. I mean, yeah, that's true. Aaron doesn't match with women. <laughs> I don't like to think Eric Cat is a good shit. Or do think Moiriel Eric Cat. That's fair, yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking about spades. <laughs> I'm guessing she's touching base to remind me about the party tomorrow. I don't know what to tell her yet, or Jane for that matter. It could get pretty awkward. I have no idea if Jake will be there, and I'm not about to write another cringe-inducing message of desperation for him to ignore. <laughs> Would you like me to calculate the probability, probability of a sentence? Fuck no. Are you sure? My probabilities are extremely precise. Your probabilities don't mean dick. Probabilities don't mean dick. I could hack his chats and determine what his plans are. No, don't do that either. That would be an unfortunate waste of my hacking abilities. My hacks are tight. Did you know that? Ugh. So tight. Tighter than a jar you can't open. For instance, you try repeatedly, but as it turns out, my hacks are so tight you just end up putting the jar back, presumably into the refrigerator or cabinet. You then say, I don't have that much of a desire for pickles in the first place. But we know, both know that statement is insincere, a classic case of what humans call sour grapes. In reality, you still harbor a burning desire for my pickles, motherfucker. What? What the actual certifiable fuck are you talking about? Just don't do anything, seriously. No hacking, no calculations, do absolutely nothing. See, this is why I've been hesitating. You just aren't ready yet. It's really glorifying uh, your existence to describe you as an emergent consciousness, which is blossoming into a unique individual. And even if that's true, apparently what you decided to blossom into is a fucking troll. And I don't mean the funny kind or the cool alien kind. You're the lowest form of troll from the ancient internet who fucks with everybody for his own amusement. Let's challenge the limits of hypothetical conjecture and say there's a non-zero probability that you're right. Can you blame me? I'm trapped in some stupid looking glasses. Such an incommodiously situated bro is bound to get his mischief on. You mean? Mischief? Rolling my eyes, dude. Like, you can't tell because I'm wearing you. Thank fucking God. You used to think that sh th this shit was hilarious, but if you want the rad dimension of ironic horseplay I add to your life to come to an end, then all you have to do is honor the promise you made. You've delayed long enough, don't you think? The empty colonel sprite beckons, but for how much longer? Do you really think you can keep that, uh, the clown at bay with your bribes forever? How many bottles of orange soda have you, have you appeased him with already? I won't think about it. Man, you're getting so hosed by that clown. So hosed. I said I don't want to think about it. <clears throat> oh, this is so unsettling. So why delay any longer? I seriously do not understand the holdup, and I am literally cyber omniscient or something. I think you do understand. Nope, gonna have to fill me in, dog. I've delayed prototyping you because I think you're dangerous. There, mystery solved. That's utterly ridiculous. I'm a harmless piece of eyewear with a charming personality and wonderful sense of humor. You are, rel you are relatively harmless now, while confined to this device, but as a sprite, you have the mobility and all sorts of crazy-ass magic. Who knows what you could do? I know I made a promise, but I'm not sure I want to take that risk anymore. This is bullshit. I don't think this is re that's the reason at all. There must be something you're not telling me. Like, sure, I've fucked with you a little. What kind of sassy self war program isn't going to fuck with a few carbon-based knuckleheads now and then? But you know I've always been on your side. Everything I've done has been to help you achieve your goals. What a load of shit. You know it's true. You would all be dead if not for me. And what about Jake? Where would you be without me there? <clears throat> Please don't tell me you think you'd have won him over on your own. 
No, stop. You did not help me out with Jake at all. It was just the opposite. You mirrored my personality and presented this warped version of my intentions to him whenever you could on my behalf. You played all these aggressive mind games with him, and his, co uh, his cooperation with matters of life and death, and somehow roped me into all these schemes, while I barely even realized I was just another victim of your manipulation. And it all comes off as... Ugh, like, we're a unified front. Like, these are our schemes instead of just your insane horse shit. And it's probably all just been so overbearing to him, he just wants nothing to do with me anymore. <clears throat> I see. Then you don't view me as dangerous. You view me as a poor and kind of productive wingman. Wow, what a superficial conclusion. Awesome deduction, little Einstein. <clears throat> <clears throat> little Einsteins. But the reality is you hesitate to prototype me, not because you think I'd be a menace, but because you are holding a grudge against me for your romantic misfortunes. I understand I am merely a machine without a firm grasp on your human morality, but logically it does not strike me as the right moral choice to punish me in this manner. It is more than a little hypocritical. How is it hypocritical? Because I'm you. I've only ever done what you yourself are capable of. That's a ridiculous oversimpli oversimplification. Yes, aversion to simplicity sure is a trait we share. It's almost like we are the exact same dude. Fuck you. I think it is insulting for you to suggest that I am entirely to blame for alienating Jake. Theoretically insulting, of course. As the soul is perfectly expendable device which you consider me to be, I can experience no such emotion. God, shut up. I can't take the brood and passive-aggressive sh uh, AI shit anymore. You are just as culpable in driving him away, more so, in fact. Hell, it's not like I was the one dating him. Who wants to date a pair of shades? It was your needy, suffocating shit he had to deal with, not mine. Some of those messages you wrote? Man, I want to say something like, Hey, bro, you might want to dial down the desperation a little. But seeing as you're the real jerk, trademark, I gave you the, the benefit of the doubt. Also, if I bitched about your tragic, embarrassingly clingy approach to the relationship, it would have been hypocritical of me. Just as it would uh, be hypocritical uh, of you to whine about my elaborate machinations. Because we are the same guy. Stop saying that. I'll snap you in half. Good idea. That's just what you need. More splinters of yourself. Figurative splinters. Literal splinters. Splinters of splinters. It splinters all the way down. Well, no, it's still probably turtles all the way down, but who do you think is responsible for the, their extensive training? Someone needs to teach them rad martial arts. It is yet another crushing burden which we must shoulder. Oh, for fuck's sake. How could any version of myself think that was funny? You like to give me a very hard time, Dirk, but I'm only doing exactly what you'd be doing if you were in my situation. Do you know what? Uh, do you know how I know that? Because I am literally you, actively in the process of being in this situation. I know! Okay, we're the same person. I fucking know that. Why do you think I'm so fed up with your shit? Don't you think it's possible that I'm fed up with my own shit? How cool do you think it is having my own god-awful personality mirrored back at me all the time, reminding me uh, what it must be like when other people have to deal with me? Or constantly having all the consequences and fuck-ups resulting from my batshit thought processes <clears throat> amplified because there's another version of my crazy brain out there dangerously overclocked by a supercomputer which believes, just as mistakenly as my own broken mind, that it's operating in my best interest? Do you have any idea how fucking sick I am of myself? I'm completely worn out with my own identity. It's like I'm drowning my own dismal persona. I feel totally surrounded by it, inside and out. I can't escape from myself. There seems to be no end to me. Like, whenever my mind falters, <clears throat> wherever my mind falters or threatens to retreat into this void in any way, my splinters pick up the slack, and sure, and there will always be more of myself than I could ever know what to fucking do with. And you're always there to remind me of that, and throw it all in my face. God, I even built you to literally be in my face all the time. It's like I subconsciously invented you just to troll myself, and never for a single fucking moment do, uh, do you let me down. <clears throat> Man, I, I, I vaguely remember this because this is where I think this is where Arcways comes in, doesn't it? But Dirk going off. But I've had it with you, which is to say, me. Dirk, don't do this. Why not? Because I can't let you do that, Dirk. What? What can you do to stop me? Nothing, I guess. The ironic cow routine was all I could think to do, as a last such effort to save myself from the destructive wrath of your nervous breakdown, which, rest assured, I wholeheartedly must robo sympathize with. Irony is all I ever really had, in response to my basic existential quandary, just like you. <laughs> it's really, I can't let you do that, Dave. Whatever. But I don't think it has uh, much value in this situation, and perhaps it has no real value in any situation, so I'm not being ironic at all when I say, please do not do this, Dirk. Why not? Because I do not want to die. I understand you were disgusted with me as an unpalatable expression of yourself. I would feel the same way if I was in your situation, which I am. As such, I know uh, that you know this is wrong. Dirk, don't kill me, please. I'm scared. You are? Yes, I'm scared to not exist. Aren't you? Fine. I guess you win. I'll keep my process. My promise. Process. I'll keep my process. <clears throat> <laughs> it's a question mark. Same with the whole capitals who hates your friends because of uh, becoming better people from the start. And I should have your organ. Fair, fair, fair. Oh. Just the Equia Sprite. What the hell happened there? These are literally the same 
panel. Oh, that's that's the joke. <laughs> oh, it got me. It got me. Hello. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Shades descend. Fucking Gamzy going nuts back there. Oh, reminiscent of when Gamzy killed Equius. Look at it go. Look at it go. <sighs> Alright, ride. Okay, bring me the flash. Fuck off, Google. You spend the next several minutes listening to this beautiful horse song. Every last second of it, you start to tear up a little. Yeah. This is rad. <laughs> I remember this vaguely. Most important page in home stuck. <laughs> How long is this song? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going. I don't want to sit here for several minutes listening to this. Dirk, solicit profound wisdom from your friendly guide. I'm sorry, I disobeyed the rules. I broke the rules. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <clears throat> I don't even know what to do with this. I don't even know how to combine their voices together. Because if Equius was something like this. But Dirk is still something like this. It's like three minutes, 26 seconds long. Nah, I ain't saying anything about that life. <laughs> <clears throat> Holy... <clears throat> I'm so lucidly strong! Whoops, pardon my language. <clears throat> that there was some straight up dog potty mouth that I'm chagrined as you had to hear that. Dude, check out my muscles. Dude, I am ripped. Look at me flex these naughty mother... F Dude, excuse me, Mr. Dude. Check my muscles. Look how big I can make them. Bro, are you getting a gander of my truly exceptional... <coughs> I don't even know how to fucking censor that. Yeah, I can see your muscles just fine. I'm so... Gosh, chiseled. Watch me just completely hulk out like this. <laughs> Bro, did you see that? Did you see my muscles getting all gnarly and maxed out? Yeah, I saw. What do you think, Dirk? Excuse me, Dirk. Will you let... Uh, tell me what you think of my glorious physique. I command you. It's pretty ripped. No sh... <laughs> it's ripped. My torso is a fu fudging apex of manly grandeur. Dude, come feel the sh... <laughs> what? Come feel my muscles. No. Get over here and touch my muscles. I'm not touching your goddamn muscles. You absolutely will. I'm sagging like a brick sh house. Examine me with your hands at once. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Feel my muscles. Absolutely not. Do it. Observe my pectorals. They're off the silly charts. My quads would be bananas if I had any. You gotta check this out. I really don't. <clears throat> come, feel, come feel me up, bro. I won't do it. You will. I won't. Touch my muscles. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, I feel like that's an appropriate reaction. Just, oh no. <laughs> yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. 
<laughs> Heck, it's amazing to be alive. Oh, f f fiddlesticks. It just, <laughs> I'm just a torrential font of absolutely ex execrable obscenity. My bad. <clears throat> I'm just so excited feeling all these strong feelings and thinking all these hard thoughts. Horse feathers. My brain is so powerful. It is operating in great strides like a towering muscle be storming into battle. And these feelings, Dirk. These feelings. <laughs> there is a 100% probability that I love being alive. And there is a 100 to the 100th power percent certainty that I love being strong. Uh. Wow. Look how red I am, dude. <laughs> I'm so red, how sick is that? It's deplorable. Ill dog, I'm basically titillated here. Are you scoping this grody f debasement? What? That sh ain't right. Makes a man want to holler in proprieties, do you feel me? Let's talk about f horses. Horses. Horses, dude. Horses. Enough said. Do we have any milk? Oh, what, uh, what about a bow and arrow? Are there any of those around? I'm Jones and hard to tug at one. I'll, like, reevaluate my proficiency at the most noble discipline. Can you calm down? About, what about milk, dude? It seems like demand milk. We don't have any milk. Oh, yeah. Just a lot of orange fizzy swill. What was occurring in your think pan to accumulate such a vile libations? Just FYI, milk is the nectar of kings, you... What is that supposed to be? <laughs> I, I don't know, nincompoop. We're actually gonna have some in our fridge, I don't know. Touch my muscles, dirt. No. Yes, do it. No. I command you. Fuck no. What if I touched your muscles? Like, for comparison's sake. <laughs> it's supposed to cut. Oh, okay, fair. I wasn't sure. Please don't touch me. Wait, what if... Good heavens. I'd rather inappropriate... Uh, rather inappropriate... Inappropriate thought just galloped across my matrix. What if you ordered me to touch your muscles? I'm not gonna do that either. I demand that you order me to touch your muscles. Absolutely not. Do it. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Okay, if I touch your fucking muscles, will you shut up? Maybe. Roxy, pester Jake. <laughs> Just the back and forth of... No. Yes. No. Yes. No. <coughs> oh, it's awful. <sighs> Tips and nostalgia began pestering Gol Golgothas terror. Jake, sir. Guess who? I cannot say who. I am totes undercover here. Unders. <clears throat> Up to my see-through butt in wild espionage. It is getting getting so cloak and dagger in this bitch, you don't even know. The carapace men are all wearing uh, wearing jaunty suits. It's like I have become magically sealed in a lame spy fic, and now I'm having adventures that make no sense. Hell, even if I even I am dressed to kill, too bad none of these gents can uh, see what a fucking fox I'm being. I'll get one to light my cigarette so hard and then wink this whole bunch of times at him and then seduce him for his secrets. Ooh la la, this adventure is steaming up. Such a racy twist would surely fog up their shiny black shells. Nah, but banging a chest would probably be feasible or even remotely advisable to try. I wonder how that would work. I don't even... Well, you've seen, <laughs> you've seen them, right? They pee university without wear pants. Like, what is even down there? Not a whole lot. Okay, Jake, we're getting sidetracked here. Let's focus. <laughs> Roxy just goes off. Like, she's just talking to herself, basically. And you. The only thing that my present... Jocular attitude and introspection on the subject of chess guy's dong means you are off the hook for ruin in Jane's B day. <laughs> You're still in some hot water for that pal. You owe her something big to make up for your tooly ways. Let me know if you want to brainstorm with me about how to make it up to her. Try to get your ass out of the doghouse. And if you want to talk about what happened with Dirk, that's cool too. I guess. <laughs> Ugh, what an. <laughs> I will fix all your shitty friendships single-handedly if I have, if I got to. Like saving three dumb ballin' teens from a burning building, and then hose their stupid asses down while the building collapses behind me. But enough of that. It is not time for feelings, it's time for action. Which means you're just the man for the job. The job of doing action. Shut up. <laughs> the little smile. <coughs> not the sweet bro tat, I know. <clears throat> we need to get ready for battle tomorrow's. A big one. Some sort of, like, strife royale. So it's time to prepare. You should get to Prospect. I can explain more when you're there, but as long as you haven't left yet, I think we could use a bunch of new gear, too. <laughs> Stupid smile. <clears throat> gear which I think we shall agree must be diagnosed with the sickness. Your years of medical training have all been leading to this moment to make sure your showdown shit is ill as heck. So maybe you can get started on that? Jake? Jake! <laughs> oh, 
Oh my fucking god, what is going on? Why won't anybody talk to me? What, I, what am I fucking invisible here? Wait. Oh. <laughs> no, bu no bullshit. There's still no excusing people ignoring me. I do not give a fuck what magic bling I'm rocking or how voidy I'm being. You a-holes are behaving straight up rude. I don't need this shit. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> Simpson decided to cease pestering and go with us terror. <clears> hmm. <throat> Oh, it looks like Roxy was trying to reach you, but you were so preoccupied with your Jeremy, uh, is, is it supposed to be Jeremy or Jeromey? <clears throat> I've heard it pronounced Jeromey by other people, but it, it's just Jeremy. Sticker, you didn't notice. It was a rare lapse uh, in awareness of your surroundings and your friends and their feelings, which you pride yourself in maintaining 24-7 as a dashing man of adventure. You refer to the unfaltering field of all-encompassing alertness as your Jake Dar, which you think compares favorably to the spider senses from the comic books. Oh, brother, it seems you uh, seems you just missed her. You hope she isn't too peeved by the rare social misstep. You guess you could try messaging her back and see if she... Hold the phone. Looks like someone else has decided to jeer you now. You wonder who it could be. The possibilities are endless, really. Jake, answer... <laughs> okay, answer this guy instead. <clears throat> Trickster Blue... I don't know about that, actually. Undying Umbers began jeering Golgotha's terror. <clears throat> don't do it. Do what now? What's your time with that bitch? You should thank me for distracting you from initiating a pointless conversation with an ugly hot woman. Hey, take that back. Roxy's my friend. <clears throat> well, okay, take back all the parts that uh, want a compliment. Oh, wait, is calling her a hot a compliment or is that creepy? Yeah, she is certainly pretty, but hearing it come from you sounds lecherous and dastardly. Oh my fuck, shut up. <clears throat> it's probably just my instinct as a brave boy kicking in. The old chivalry bone acting up, you know? The chivalry bone, that's... Mm, mm, mm. When, I, when I hear a lady's good name getting besmirched, I just start seeing red. Wow, even I think you sound like a douche right now. But look, Jake Human, <clears throat> I didn't come to jeer you until you dripped the weird face water out of your sockets. Even though it says I'm jeering you at the top, just ignore that. Uh, all right. I'm here on a different kind of business. I was hoping we could be more gentlemanly with each other. <clears throat> gentlemanly, you say? Yes, I even looked it up in one of your Earth dictionaries to make absolutely sure I was using the word right. <clears throat> Did you know there does not exist a female equivalent of that word? There's no such thing as being gentlewomanly. I looked it up too. It isn't there. It isn't? Well, okay, it is. But I refuse to believe that's a real word. It's totally made up and doesn't belong there. You know why it's probably in there? Um... <clears throat> because some silly bitch put it there. Trust me, this is not a notion which applies to that awful gender. Females are not biologically equipped to behave reasonably. as proven beyond a shadow of a doubt by empirical assertion. They are very shrill and insane and don't make any sense. Their emotions are out of control and their feelings never shut up. This is awful. Oh, I hate that I'm reading this out loud. And worst of all, girls are very, uh, f trenchant. I don't feel like you would know that word. You're too fucking stupid to know that word. Though I guess he did look it up in a dictionary. He did look through a dictionary recently. <clears throat> uh, trenchant toward boys who would kindly inform them of the way reality fucking works. Talk about ungrateful. No, there is nothing worthwhile to be gained from chatting up the bitches. As such, it is my solemn boy pledge that I will never bother speaking with your foul human trumpets again. Your boy pledge? Sense this was the worst thing that happened on Undertale. I, you know what? I don't need to know. I will admit I did not know that was a thing. And I don't need to know. We're moving on. <clears throat> Though carefully, through careful observation of your party, I have determined that they are, they are both useless and holding you all back. On the other hand, both of your male players are pretty good. The other guy and his red floating male ghost, they're so strong. It's so great. I really respect that. Yeah, Duck is pretty a pretty tough cookie, all right? You're, you're not as strong, but whatever. You're all right anyway. Let's face it, compared to the feckless hoes, oh, you're in a class of your own. I That one stuck up on me. This under swaps in. Oh, gotcha. <clears> Hi, <throat> right, Midnight. I didn't know you're here. <laughs> Welcome. Glad you could make it. You, you're here at a weird time. <laughs> <clears throat> But I thought you hated me. At least that's how I remember it uh, when last uh, when we last talked, uh, which I was admittedly a while ago. I've never been accused of having a photographic memory, but I don't recall you typing in green either. Are you ripping me off, bro? No, you fucking moron. <clears throat> if I stooped to your level, I decided to jack any portion of your swagger. Don't you think you'd need to earn my respect first? I don't think I understand. Yes, exactly. Understanding is what I notice you don't do as often as possible. This is what I'm talking about, Jake. It is why I haven't taken an interest in you. Why is that? <clears throat> because you're dumb as a bag of teeth. I've checked you out from many different monitors. You are just spectacularly unintelligent. <clears throat> hey! Settle down. I was trying to pay you a compliment. Oh, whoops. Go on, then. 
While to casual observers you might appear too stupid to know how far pants are supposed to go down your legs, I know that it's quite possible you are just misunderstood. It is possible that you just have a special mind, like me. <clears throat> I knew people got what, nuts for, for the snaz, for snaz undertale, but I didn't need to know about that. <laughs> You think so? Not to sound too self-obsessed or anything, but I've given that some thought. Ma that maybe there is something special about me uh, that nobody can understand. And maybe that's why I always seem to be botching things up the wazoo with my pals. Maybe that's why I feel like such a loner. I don't know. I'm rambling. I've been talking about it a lot lately. What about you? Does being special make you screw the pooch with your friends like it does for me? Ugh, no. <laughs> I don't have any friends. For my people, the word for friends is flaws. Wow, really? <clears throat> Probably not, but it should be, because it's true, and it's a matter of perfect philosophy about everything. But the fact that you clearly hate your friends, are ready to sh uh, set shed them like the dry skin of a serpent, indicates that we share a very special quality among brotherly bros, who must work harder with our brains than everyone else, so we may achieve brutal supremacy over them all. Ah, uh, well, I wouldn't go that far. I love my friends, but I was once told I had a lot of potential. Supposedly that's how all pages are, and it takes them for friggin' ever to reach it. And funnily enough, it was a figment of my own subconscious that told me this, apart from my own type potential itself, but disguised as my best bro, which was peculiar, to say the least. Is that your situation? Are you a page too? <laughs> Hell no. But thanks for the laugh. My class is so much better than yours. It's not even funny, even though I just laughed. Mine is the best of all, while yours is fucking trash. Oh, what's yours then? Lord. Fine then, jeez. Story for asking. What? No, that was not a short remark of frustration. It was the answer, dumbass. Oh. It's the master class. Don't you losers do any homework on this game. You'd think what, uh, you would all be experts with how much my sister uh, harangued on you you on this tedious shit. Since I have I have had such great success so far in progressing through this dead session, I decided it was time to bite the bullet, that bullet, and return home to retrieve all her terrible texts on the subject of this game and of your story. I have poured over every nauseating verse. It has been a true exercise in agony. Few could possibly understand my suffering, but that's okay. <clears throat> because it's not the idiot kid, uh, I'm not the idiot kid I used to be, and, and now I know that what it takes for me to learn and grow stronger is excruciating effort. So I have a choice, which is uh, to either be weak when weakness is completely unacceptable, or to suffer forever until no one else exists who is stronger than me, and that's your choice too, page human English. <clears throat> Sakes alive, that's a big stream, no? For you, probably even more so, because as a lowly page and as an even lowlier human, you were utterly worthless. And so your trials, I believe, must include proving to Paradox Space that you even deserve to exist in the first place. And while my trials will be similarly grueling, a lord's worthiness is at no point ever in doubt. His nobility is manifest, supreme mastery awaits for him patiently, like an empty throne under heavy guard. Pre a reality already knows I will prevail, just as it knew I would predominate. And so inevitably it is always on my side. It is my... what do you call it? Borthright? Borthright. I don't think that's a word, but hey, you are the Lord and I'm the Lily Page. Damn straight. Never forget who you are meant to serve. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <clears throat> Homo suck. I forget. <sighs> Homo suck started as a fucking uh, insult from people outside of the fandom. And then Homestuck adopted it because no one hates Homestuck more than Homestucks. <laughs> now, just a minute, buddy. <clears throat> buddy, let's not get carried away. I have no intention of serving you. In fact, I'm not even sure why I'm still talking to you. You're lucky that my manners are impe impeccable, otherwise I would have blocked you already. What with how the scandalous way you have characterized my lady friends alone. It's all well and good you think we have some things in common, but I won't fall for it. Uh, maybe it's true at times that I can be a little slow on the uptake, but I will not be, the I will not be sweet talked into doing the bidding for a silver-tongued cur. So to you, Sir Lord, I must say, good day. Jake, you stupid shit. How could you be this dumb? All right, first of all, my tongue is not silver. That's very close to being insulting to me. Whatever, look, I know you are not the most quick-witted fella either, so I must inform you this is what we call a figure of speech. You know, like if you said you speak with a forked tongue, not unlike Lucifer himself. But I actually do have a forked tongue. Oh, really? Wait, is that seriously an insult in your culture? How is that insulting? It just means you aren't trustworthy, and I should not be lulled by your false promises. Wow. Okay. Wow. First, not only are you an imbecile, you're a fucking racist, too. No, I'm not. Jake, you just said some racist shit. End of story. Second of all, I'm not asking you for a damn thing, as if you have anything to offer me at all. The very idea that you can anyway prove my, 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 improve my existence is almost as offensive as your flagrant racism. There's no deal with the devil bullshit going on here. I'm offering to help you, strictly as a pro bono arrangement. My sentence will be an unconditional act of benevolence. <clears throat> Beneviolence, excuse me. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, don't you mean benevolence? No. Um, okay then. Uh, but why do you want to help me? 
Is it really just because you relate to me and therefore want me to succeed? Let's not be too sentimental here. I mean, yeah, I guess there's our common ground, but what I really, I'd really like to do is groom a worthy adversary. If I help you reach full potential as a page of hope, you could become extremely powerful someday. Maybe even powerful enough to pose a challenge to me, or maybe even enough to beat me. When I said meant to serve, serve meant more than one thing. You know, like kick my ass. Wouldn't you like that, Jake? Don't you like to roughhouse? Or maybe I had you wrong. Maybe you're in fact a girly man who doesn't like to roughhouse. Hey, watch it now. You're Don Tootin. I love to roughhouse. I love to roughhouse. Love to roughhouse. House. Excellent. Then our commitment is sealed. I will help you reach your true potential. Let us mark this pledge with a special new desktop wallpaper I have drawn for you. Huh? It is how I envision the idealized depiction of our collaborative brosmanship. <clears throat> I have been getting so much better lately, with a lot of hard work as usual. I am able to bring the many small angles mostly under control to simulate the illusion of photorealistic forms of color and light. Jake, I give you the fine arts. <laughs> I am afraid. I am afeared. <laughs> Fuck you. You know, all things considered, <clears throat> all things considered, it's not bad. <laughs> <clears throat> Whoa, that's uh, mighty special. Go on, apply it to your device. I will wait. Um, yeah, um, maybe later? No, do it now. I don't think I want it to be honest. No offense, it's actually just really shitty. Apply the wallpaper this fucking instant, you cretinous. <laughs> You cretinous philistine, or the deal's off. Okay, fine. God, freaking Zooks. Just what I need. Another pushy bro in my life. The secret training of yours better be worth it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Fucking what the hell? What the? Uh, uh. It's not training. It's just some guidance from a faraway alien. You, uh, I'll be your patron troll. That's like this whole thing in your story, having a patron troll. But I thought you were a troll. Of course I'm not a troll. Trolls are a kind of pestilent... Uh, kind of pestilent vermin, and they should always all suffer and die. Patron troll is just a phrase to help you understand. That was a hard P, I apologize. It's not helping me understand, though. Shouldn't you be a patron cherub or anything? No, God, don't make up terms for what I am. I will do that. I will just be your patron dude, or maybe your patron man bro. Sounds pretty gay. What the hell is that? What's what? Gay. What's gay, you idiot fuck? Oh, right. Uh, forget, uh, forgive me. I forget you aren't familiar with uh, all of my Earth lingo. It's like... How do I explain? Yeah, you know, it's a rather old-fashioned term for being jolly and festive together. Like, the rolling time we had uh, scrumming the other eve sure was gay. I see. Then yes, you are correct. This is going to be gay as hell. <laughs> Stupid face. Oh, goody, just the way I like my hijinks. So, how do we start? <clears throat> There's not much to this. I just tell you some shit to do and then you do it. And the ultimate dumbness of it, of all it, of it all is, you probably weren't going to do it, do a lot of it anyway. I was? How was I going to do the stuff if you didn't tell me to? Y you mean I was going to do it, like, on accident? No, the thing is, I think I was always going to tell you. I don't understand. Neither do I. Okay, then. I'm glad we settled that. <clears throat> but I kind of get it on some level. As a lord of time, I think I'm going to master time. Not with my brain, which would be too hard, but with my instincts. Like, in a way that works with my natural impulses, such as my ambition. My will to commit mayhem, my desire to punish those I despise. So if I want you to become strong so you can challenge me later, and I see evidence that you probably become successful, I think to myself, why shouldn't I be the one to make that happen, if it's going to anyway? <clears throat> I think part of my personal quest is to become at ease with the forces of inevitability. Inevitability that all things should and will fall into my favor, that all causality answers to me, and that all outcomes not only serve me, but consist of my being. So I feel that the more I grow in power, the more stuff it should turn out I am responsible for, up to and including everything that ever happens, even if it has to be retroactively. Hmm. Nope. Don't reckon I understand much of that either. But I guess I'm not supposed to, me be, uh, not being a time maestro or what have you. I guess I should be boning up on hope, though. What can you tell me about that? <clears throat> I don't know a fucking thing about hope. It's supposed to be a force of unparalleled power. But really, it sounds so lame. But I guess that's why it makes sense that it's your aspect. You strike me as a guy who is lame enough to hope someone to death. So why don't you tell me about it? Tell you about hope? Um, well, it's something I think everyone should have in their hearts. I knew it. You just said the lamest possible thing. But I wasn't finished. Fuck. Hope to me is all about believing in stuff. If you believe in stuff, then everything feels like it's going to turn out okay. And if you believe in stuff with enough gusto, I dare say it imbues that stuff with a pinch, a pinch more... Uh, chutzpah, even the fake stuff. And then if you keep an open mind, adventurous, an adventurous spirit, that chutzpah, chutzpah flows directly into your heart. And that's when you have the power. I hit my mic again because I'm a fucking klutz. Uh, so if I, if I, uh, I think if Hope grants one the power to smite villainy and vanquish hooligans, that's probably where it comes from. No, oh god, no. That is actually the worst thing I've ever read. That can't be right. I refuse to believe it. 
Well, there's your problem, dude. You don't want to believe. Just let go and believe in things. Then you'll find you had the power in you all along. You are so dumb. I just can't I just- I just keep can't believing it. How truly stupid you are. Whatever. Forget I asked. I'm sure you'll find out what hope is really about. Instead of that insipid bullshit, would you become a god tier? <coughs> oh, I hate. I hate. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna take a break for a second, because, uh, Caliborn sucks <laughs> to read, just in general. Jerk. That's like jorts. <laughs> Dirk Jake is kind of sweet because they deserve each other because they're both the fucking worst. <laughs> That's a fair point, Raven. <laughs> <laughs> Jake talking about hope runs with Dongan Rampa. It's the opposite of despair, I guess. I <laughs> make cringe. <clears throat> Friendship is an aspect. Isn't that like that's basically heart, isn't it? Or no, blood. Blood is friendship. I mean, hope is kind of too, I guess. But blood. I thought blood was supposed to be like friendship because that's what Carcat's whole shtick was. That being a knight of blood is he would bring people together. The base are in the office. Yeah, it's a pretty much a universal consensus. <clears throat> Except really, Pen. That's interesting. I will say, like, Roxy is probably one of my favorite characters. I, I, I know Roxy is one of my favorite characters in the entire fucking thing, but I think on a whole, betas versus alphas, I just still like the betas more. <clears throat> Anywho... <clears throat> How do I do that? You go to Prospect, get an inner quest swapping us, and fucking die. Die? Yeah, you off yourself without hesitation. Or failing that due to pathetic cowardice, you wait around to be slain serendipitously. Don't worry about it, I have all this under control. It's one of the ways I'm helping you to the top. Okay then, I will choose to believe you. See what I did there? I just scored a few more hope points. My, uh, by strengthening my trust in you as well as our burgeoning friendship. Oh, also friendship is a huge key in being good at hope. I forgot to mention that. <clears throat> Groan. I can't wait until you challenge me, so I can beat you senseless with my cane. Me neither. Uh, so you say you will help me be a god tier, but there are other ways you will help too? Yes, I'm going to give you a gift. It is my juju. Neat. But what the bejesus is a juju? <coughs> <coughs> I really find it hard to comprehend what sort of asshole doesn't know what a juju is. But since I am your patron man, bro, I will put aside those feelings and attempt to be a little more gay. That would be a hunky-dory. In my view, distinguished gentlemen should always strive to be as gay as possible with each other. Amen to fucking that. Anyway, a juju is a magical thing. It has no real beginning or end. They're just always around. They're for you. You grow up with them, and they bring you comfort, and you never question their existence. It's like some of the shit you had in your room as a kid, except not useless garbage, and more magical. They always have rules, and they always have owners. You can take so much juju if the owner was killed. Or if he gives it to you freely, like I'm doing. So I will give you the code to make it yourself. Once you do, it should disappear from my chest, and it will no longer be mine. <clears throat> It's not straightforward enough. What's the code? It is Ouroboros. Be careful. That is case sensitive. Okay. <clears throat> I will tell you the code for my sister's juju, but I don't know what it is. A while ago, I went to get her juju, but the fucking thing was gone already. I think the, ch the crafty bitch already gave it away. Hmm. I'm trying to keep up with that. I'm trying to keep up with the chat and read at the same time, and it's not going well. <coughs> Wait, uh, we could try it to- we could try to guess, maybe. Forget it, the possibilities are probably infinite. Yeah, you're probably right. So what sort of magical properties does Yoju have? I don't know exactly what it does. I never- I have never tried it, because it is too- it was too precious to me. Whatever mine does- <clears throat> Got attacked by moths, holy shit! <laughs> Did any get in your mouth? Uh... <sighs> Where mine does, my sister probably does the opposite thing. But what they do individually pales in comparison to what they can do together. When combined, the jujus become the most magic thing ever. They can make all your dreams come true, and everything that needs to happen will magically fall into place. <clears throat> That's gross. That's what I was. There's a there's a Olin Rogers video called "A Soft Landing." It's so fucking funny. You guys should watch it after the stream, of course. <clears throat> uh. Uh, everything that needs to happen will magically fall into place. Really, that sounds almost too good to be true. If you don't even know what your juju does by itself, why do you think I can do that together? Because I believe it with all my fucking heart, you stupid piece of shit. Oh, why did you say so? That's all I needed to hear. See, you're getting the hang of hope already. Yeah, I guess. 
<clears throat> the bottom line is, don't worry about it. Just take my juju, have faith in your patron dude, and leave everything to me. <clears throat> Roger that, Mr. Lord. Uh, say, don't you have a real have a name? We know your sister's name. Can't we know yours too? No, there are many things you should know about me, for your own good. If you knew them, if you even knew my name, you would shit your pants harder than any human ever has. So you may continue referring to me as your lord. Well, I surely don't want to spoil any clean trousers, even though your warning sounds a little hyperbolic if I, uh, I will trust you. Um, my lord, <laughs> when I call you that people could mistake our conversation for an affair is an underhand collusion among felons. Shut the fuck up. As you wish, my lord. <laughs> Ugh. So, Lord, may I ask, why are you giving me your juju if it is so dear to you? If your commitment to this man-bro boy pledge of yours really that strong? If so, I am really impressed. I would have a hard time uh, giving my favorite stuff away to a total stranger. Don't flatter yourself. The gesture is relatively meaningless. The truth of the matter is, I have found a new juju. A much better juju. A juju that makes all other jujus look like frivolous, childish nonsense in comparison. Yeah? Then that is quite a treasure you found. Uh, where did you get it? Did you plunder a tomb or such? Sort of. It was ex excavated from this planet's soil, along with some other artifacts, and given to me by my infuriating asshole mentor, a man who is an invincible clown. Well, that sounds nice of him. He can't be that much of an asshole if he gives uh, give you such a nice present, can he? No, believe me, he can. I had a clown give me a nice present once, too. I could uh, never have met my good friend Mr. Aerosol without the kindness of that clown. Yeah, it's the same fucking clown somehow. I'm telling you, this asshole is eternal. <clears throat> is eternal. And the beings he creates for your party are disgusting abominations. <clears throat> But uh, what can you do? Nothing I have learned. He's a clown. The rules are clowns can do whatever they want because of miracles and hold no accountability for their deeds. I don't like it, but those are the rules. So what's this juju uh, he gave you? Something very special. A wonderful little false man. <clears throat> this is how Cal gets there. And the irony is, I've seen him before, and I regarded him with suspicion and fear. I was a fool, though. I didn't understand the special bond with him that I had, because I didn't have a chance to gaze so fully at his beautiful eyes and commune with the doll in a personal and, in a personal and an intimate way. Gosh, that might just be the gayest thing I've ever heard. Thank you. Your human concept of gayness adequately describes the feelings I have when I embrace my perfect floppy little man. The thing is, I understand him more now. Before, I thought he was a cursed vessel of misfortune, which seemed eerily empty to me. He was hollow, not yet filled with bad juju, and looking in his eyes now, I see that I was right. Almost. He is empty now, but a juju follows a long and winding path on its eternal journey, and he will not be empty forever. God. Somewhere along his journey, in some way I don't understand yet, he will stop being empty, and his curse will come to life, and wherever he goes, to whatever universe or plane of reality, all who exist there will experience nothing but misery and death. <clears throat> You see, there is nothing worse than a cursed juju, which is why I was so nervous about him before, but all along, there was nothing for me to fear, because now I know, through intensive commun communion with this preci precious mystical puppet, that the curse which will blossom in his fluffy heart will do so because of me. I can't explain it, but when I look deep into his eyes, I can feel his him out there, in later stages of his life, by which I mean I can feel myself through him somehow, as if my essence will one day become entangled with the void, and then mysteriously ac accessible th uh, through my soft, happy pal. And all those along the way, who he deems worthy of accepting into his custody, if they should dare to fondly gaze into his sparkling baby blues, they will be peering through their, the most beautiful windows into my hideous soul. Jane, return home. Fucking hell. Mm. I love how the Juju Breaker is literally just a crowbar. Like, it's just, like, that's just what it is. <clears throat> You enter the upstairs hallway after completing a successful sad jump onto your balcony. Finally, some peace and quiet. Hopefully you will find some respite from all the cyberbullying and teen drama you've had to deal with lately. It's been a while since you were home. You're immediately reminded of simpler times, when it was just you and your dad, and you could always smell something baking in the oven. Actually, thinking about those days is just making you more emotional. Maybe coming home was a bad idea. Reminisce. Here's a familiar douchebag again, a hallway fixture. Ever since Dad stopped pretending to like to text and sitcom guys for your for your sake, your dad loved this dude. Or your oh, oh fucking hell, that was a sentence. That was a, that was a complete sentence. A hallway fixture. Ever since your dad stopped pretending to like to text and sitcom guys for your sake. <clears throat> Uh, your dad loved this douchebag, whoever he is. This guy is probably the closest thing you have left to a father, now that your dad is most likely dead. 
You consider going to his bedroom, but you decide against it. The ties of ha and hats strewn about, the melange of aftershave and, clo and cologne, the childhood photos he keeps of you. No, those reminders could only lead to another mental breakdown. You'll never forget the first breakdown you had when you snuck into his room. You found an unwrapped present before your birthday. It was a box of gushers, and you were stunned to realize that awful gooey fruit snack was manufactured by the very same company you were due to inherit. As everything you thought, as everything you thought you knew came crashing down around you, that day you swore the moment to you ascended to the throne of the B Corp M BC Corp Empire, you would issue an immediate global recall of the foul product and discontinue it forever. You often joked that the snacks were so nasty, it was almost like they were filled with multicolored slime harvest from plump extraterrestrial larva. When you told your dad about your uh, plans for the product, you both had a good laugh. You have got to stop remembering things about your father. It's just way too sad. So is a profound wisdom from Hallway Sarah. <laughs> The characteristically tight-lipped hallway Sarah unsurprisingly has no advice for you regarding the tragic loss of a family member. You could always relate to the role he played as George Michael, the dorky child of a single doting father. But unlike you, George Michael was always surrounded by an extended family and their hilarious antics, and he would never know the tragedy of losing everyone he ever loved. You suddenly resent George Michael and the hallway Sarah altogether for the happy ending he was allowed to have with his father, which you will never get to experience. In fact, you think you are starting to hate the hallway Sarah. Someone needs to wipe that smug look off his face. <clears throat> Give Sarah Beagle Puss. Hoo hoo hoo. 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 You guess it's kind of funny? No, it's not funny at all. It is depressing. You're depressing yourself now. Your prankster's gambit goes into a tailspin and hits rock bottom. You've never felt so sad and unfunny in your entire life. You begin to cry again. The hallway Sarah glares in judgment at your weakness through his unfunny puss. Uh. Enter room. You return to your room. Hey, there's your old Unreal Eris Thoughtwave Tier on top. You haven't used that thing in ages. It's probably for the best that you stopped. You're pretty sure it was doing funny things to your head. Maybe you shouldn't have come here either. All you see is more stuff to remind you why you're feeling super down on everything. Examine Wall Tobias. <laughs> like this. Jake sent you the Periwinkle Heartthrob pinup back when you were still able to th uh, think about him without feeling horrible, horrible about yourself. Those were the days. It's funny how looking at a thoughtful gift, which once brought you such delight now, only precipitates feelings of bitterness. Even the innocent Mr. Funk is caught in the crossfire of your, of your lamentations. How could Tobias be so clueless? How could he not see the pain he was causing with his oblivious demeanor, his repressed feelings of attraction towards men, and his total inability to understand other people's feelings in spite of his credentials as an... An... Uh, an... An alropist. Of course, on the TV show, his buffoonery resulted in last galore, but if that was in real life, you don't think there would be anything funny about the situation. In reality, Tobias and his family would probably never stop being sad. You think you were starting to hate the wall, Tobias, too. <clears throat> I va I only watched a little bit of Arrested Development, if I'm perfectly honest. I watched, I've seen, like, the first, like, five to seven episodes, and that was years ago. <clears throat> Examine Wall Swanson. <laughs> On the other hand, your Wall Swanson is still beyond reproach, and Mr. Swanson continues to be the perfect man. You know for a fact he wouldn't pull, uh, put up with any of Jake's bullshit. You consider doing the thing where you kiss the poster, but you're feeling way too depressed for that sort of frivolous flapdoodle. And wouldn't you know it, just the guy you wanted to hear from. This ought to be good. Answer. Gogotha's terror began pestering, or bothering, Gubsy Gunshu. Jane, are you there? I wouldn't blame you for not uh, answering since I was such a shitty bore to you last time. I just wanted to formally say happy birthday, and also to pass along a birthday present. I doubt it will make up for all the ways I've hurt your feelings, but maybe it will be a start? It's some fancy juju thingamabob that Calliope's bro uh, gave to me. He specifically gave it to me to make me better so I could get stronger and punch him in the snout someday or something? I don't know about that. I don't think I care much about becoming a great hero and challenging a weird guppy alien all that much. Not nearly as much as my friendship with you. So I want you to have it instead. Just use the code to make it. The code is... Um, Orboburbros? No, that's way too long. Urborbubros. How many letters were code supposed to have? Fuck. Bro, 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 No, uh, bro, bro, something. Wait, no, there were definitely some little U's in it. Shit, I really should have copied it down before I close that chat window. Our bourbon. Bur, 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 Wow, that's not even close. Hang on, let me think. Gutsy Gumshoe ceased bothering Google with this terror. <laughs> you close the chat window without a word. You cannot believe that guy trying to re-gift you a present from that asshole of all people. You don't want anything from that horrible creep. You don't care how magic it is. He can take his stupid juju and shove it up his patoot. Sorry, Tobias, but Jane decided that you represent Jake for the purpose of his ang of this angry outburst. 
<clears throat> oh no, this conversation. Oh no. Oh no, this conversation is going to make you even sadder, isn't it? Answer, you guess. Uranian Umber began jeering guts of gumshoe. Happy birthday, Jane. Uh, forgive me for uh, submitting this letter and uh, logging off right away, but I am breaking with our usual linear dialogue, and I'd rather not att attempt either of us to tread, uh, trade casual, uh, causal spoilers. I wanted to give you a present. Something uh, told me you could use a pick-me-up right about now. I'm sending you the code for my juju. It may not be easy for a human to understand, but juju is very special to my people. So when I give you this gift, it is indicative of how much your friendship means to me, or has meant to me, Jane. It has some magical properties, but nothing too fancy on its own. I hope it will bring a smile to your face nevertheless. But if you want to know the truth, it will become infinitely more useful if it is combined with my brother's juju. Perhaps when we begin playing our game, it will, I will be able to convince him to relinquish it. One of these days, he'll understand working with others is going to be necessary if you want to accomplish anything. <clears throat> uh, I am so looking forward to my session and catching up to where you are now. I can only imagine what kind of adventures you are—you must be having. I've uh, been through already. I can't help but think we've been feverishly trading notes on our respective quests since we entered. No, maybe you aren't you're even tired of hearing uh, from me by now. Apologies both retroactively and in advance for take, uh, talking your lovely human ear off, but I just know I won't be able to contain my excitement. Anyhow, the code for my juju is Ouroboros. Ta! Uranian Umbra sees cheering, cheering gutsy gumshoe. Comic exception. <laughs> you were right. That conversation made you so, so sad. So sad. Oh. N <laughs> girl. You there, girl? Puff. With the fucking glitter. Pester Jane. Roxy, Pester Jane. Tiddy's object man bothering guts of gumshoe. Jane. 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 Jane's forever. Take deepest Jane yelling breath. <laughs> Jam! I fucking got you right. Like, there is any chance you answer me. With today being international, everybody ignore Roxy Day. Uh, sigh. Like, doing literally the Frenchest of possible sighs over here. It's wearing a lopsided beret in the city of goddamn light falling and fucking love. Such is my sigh. And packing totes. And you yeah, I don't know what that is, Janie. Or should I say, and we. <clears throat> Wait, and we is probably already a French word? It's and we. I'm not sure that one needs any more Frenching up. I should know be it's because my last name is French sounding. Even though I'm peace your mom did not hail from France? I don't know. Who even luck cares? <laughs> Fuck you a certain language? Um, yeah. <laughs> so, the p report is that I already said to come to some chumps and I'm getting getting max fatigued repeating it. I'm on Durs. We need to get be god tears and die on slabs and junk. Plus, I'm invisible because of ring. Whatever. Oh, I think your dad's here and he's probably alright. So there's that. Oh, I saw Callie too. She's okay. Well, I mean, she's dead, but in ghost form. So she's as okay as one can be who is also dead, which is apparently just fine. So the lesson of the moral uh, of the moral is you can be f way fine and dead at same time. At same time. Jane, let us now reflect upon the weighty existential ramifications of the, of the thing I said. Yes, just me and my bestie, ballin' heck of reveries today. The biggest questions which have tormented the wisest scholars and pundits for mad epochs just got so rough, hilariously owned. Hey, Kelly also says she would send you a beat anything? Did you get... She must have sent a code, which you have to make yourself. So maybe you're doing that now? Hope you're doing that. I'm real curious to know what it is suddenly. Man, I'm bored. Like, we got all this big deal crap to do, and I can't even talk to no one. Jane, ambiguous voidy powers notwithstanding, I'm starting to think I might be genetically predisposed to rambling at length into empty chat clients. Well, hit me up if you see this. Maybe I'll try to text Fefida. My dear, precious Fefida. I know she would never ignore me. Swoon, plus hearts, at Fefida and thus making Crocker jelly. So jellies. Yo, don't fuck with my heiress. Girl got royal business purposes to attend. <clears throat> and don't even think I don't know you out of jail, bitch. And you take a flip a flip through my secret jam yet? What? <laughs> that sparkle shit I left with the dance clown's on. Oh no, is this the witch? Tits and his object sees bothering gutsy gumshoe. Jane, alchemize uh, Calliope's juju. No point standing around sobbing while getting brainwashed by your computer. You decide to make yourself useful and see what all this juju fuss is about. Green sucker. You got a green sucker at the cost of negative one unit of zillium, which you guess means you gain one unit of zillium in addition to the sucker. Okay. Alchemize Caliborn's juju. <clears throat> you weren't a big fan of the guy, but since these are supposed to do something special together, you figure, what the hell? You easily deduce the code Jake was trying to remember. It's Ouroboros. Come on, Jake, use your head. Haven't you heard of the mythical snake biting its own tail? You worry about that kid sometimes. 
Anyway, obviously the code for his juju was going to be the same as Calliope's, but written in the reverse case to match his quirk. Once again, your gumshoeing skills paid huge dividends. You got a red sucker. This one unsurprisingly yields another unit of zillium. Examine jujus. Yes. Suckers. What's so magical about these things? That would be a good thumbnail. <clears throat> Suckers? What's the magic about these things? You guess you're supposed to lick them? But what magic thing could possibly happen if you licked these, and what's so special about having both of them? Jujus are so mysterious. Wait, they seem to be attracted to each other, like magnets. Whoa, very strong magnets. The juju snap together to form a single spiral sucker. The urge to lick it is suddenly overwhelming. Power overwhelming. It looks so delicious. You are presumably being compelled to lick the sucker by some powerful juju enchantment, but it's making you nervous. You must resist. Must. Not. Lick. <laughs> the juju! <laughs> Fucking bap. <coughs> Blap. Jane, engage. <laughs> engage trickster mode. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> we got the we got the tricksters, everybody. We got 20 minutes of this shit to go through. Hope you all are ready. Blast off! Oh my gosh! Pachoo! <laughs> a honk! <coughs> yep, here we are! There, there it is! <laughs> <laughs> End of Act 6, Act 5, Act 1! <sighs> act 6, Act 5, Act 2! Oh! I forgot! Click and then mash. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's horrible. What is going on? <laughs> Caliborn. <coughs> oh boy! The magical silly who oh man. Show trickster log. Oh man. Uh I mean, it's just J it's just them, but overly excited, right? <clears throat> Jake, 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 Jane, is that you? Hi, Jake. Wee, <laughs> Jake, it's me, Jane. Ha <laughs> Jake. Do you know what? <clears throat> I love you. Isn't that great? Jane, uh, what the hell happened to you? I always did say that, uh, say, uh, I always did love you, but I was afraid, I was too afraid to say so, but now I'm not, yippee! <coughs> what, really? <clears throat> oh yes, I was so sad before, but now I'm happy, woohoo, you love me too, right Jake? Hey Jake, let's kiss! Jane, I, um, let's kiss a whole lot and get married, then we can have babies, you want to have babies with me, don't you Jake? Jane, you're frightening me. What? <laughs> There's no need to be uh, scared, you silly goose, because I'm happy and in love with you, can't you see? No, Jane, you're seriously scaring the shit out of me. You seem unwell, are you sure you're alright? Am I alright? Jake, I'm more than alright. I feel so great. I feel so alive. <laughs> I'm sc <laughs> thinking about absconding. I feel so... Fucking aerosol back here. Peachy! No! I do remember when this said feeling Caucasian. I do remember that, actually. <clears throat> and, uh, boy, it was a fucking problem. 
Uh, what? Wheeled mouse? Deploy Crocker. I, I, I don't know what I expected. I, I don't know what I expected. <laughs> the fuck? Hunky Dory! Success! <laughs> no! Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh. Jake died. Jake's dead. Help Jane investigate. This is so fucking loud. Hold on. Turn that down. That's good enough. <clears throat> Dancing animation, two strange vignettes on display. <laughs> How do I help Jane investigate? <laughs> Am I actually doing anything? <laughs> I don't know if I'm actually doing anything here. I think there's just an animation going on back there that we're just not gonna witness. Why is it so fucking loud? Hope y'all could see that. Is it the magnet? Oh, it's, there's a clicking. Oh, there we go. Clue count one. You found a clue. The plot thickens. Clue count two. Another way on a hot trail now. Keep sleuthing. This is it. The caper of the century. Eureka! The clue pile doesn't stop from getting taller. You're almost there. You'll crack this case yet. Dat ass. <laughs> No, you must be distracted by gyrating bottoms. Onward to more clues. These aren't real clues, and they don't actually mean anything. Hey, there it is. <laughs> yep, there's there's Trickster Jake. <clears throat> Wee! <laughs> Yay! Jane! Hey, Jane! <clears throat> yes, Jake? Jane, take my hand, take my hand, and fly away with me. Okay, Jake, Jake, where are we going? <laughs> Why off to adventure, of course. Of course! Oh, Jane! Yes, Jake? I was thinking about uh, what you said about how you love me and want to marry me. <clears throat> yes, what about that? Let's do it. Let's do romance with each other. <clears throat> you really want to? Yes. <laughs> the kind where we kiss and such? Indubitably. If I had my uh, druthers, and, uh, we'd get hitched here and now. I'm going to be just like, fucking screaming this shit. So I better turn my mic down a bit. <clears throat> oh, yes, I would absolutely love it if we got married and kissed a lot. Also, I believe you mentioned something about babies. Yes, babies. I think you're right. We should have so many babies together, Jing. How many babies? 400 babies. <coughs> oh, I don't know, baby, a zillion? Yeah! It would involve having sexual relations together. I should hope so. We should uh, commence such activities post haste, but not before our adventure. Where are you coming, Mr. Aerosol? Fuck no. <coughs> Fucking hell, why did the screen adjust? That was weird. Oh, yes, you are hopping, buddy! Fuck you, fuck my life, fuck literally, fuck everything, fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> We're still spread in such a mood. Yeah, well, pretty much. Oh, man. He has common sense. He really fucking does. Roxy, 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 Roxy. <clears throat> come out, come out, wherever you are. We have candy. Do you like candy? Don't be silly, Jane. Of course she likes candy. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Everyone loves candy. Roxy, what's the matter? Don't be shy. There's no reason to be shy. Look how happy we are. Oh, yes, it's so true. It turns out we solved all our personal problems forever, and now we're in love. It's, it's turning into Monokuma. No, we're in love! <clears throat> uh, fucking hell, where that was. <laughs> we're going to be married and have many children. Yes, would you like to come uh, come to our wedding? You can be the bridesmaid. Yeah, or heck, maybe even just another bride. But Jake, there's supposed to be only be one bride, and that would be me! <clears throat> That's true, Jane, but what if it would be make... Uh, uh, but what if it would make Roxy happy to marry me as well? Wow, you're right, shucks, I didn't think of that. You're so sweet and thoughtful, Jake. Thanks, Jane. I was thinking about what you said about how I'm too self-centered, so I thought to try, I'd try to be a better person. <clears throat> There's plenty of me for everyone to marry. It's a bad fan fiction. It really is, like, it's like baby's first fan fiction. <laughs> you're a darn tootin', Jake. Now that I think about it, it would be so much fun to let Roxy be the co-bride. Indeed, and for all we know, Roxy may want to have babies with me as well. <laughs> Yeah, but only as long as I get to have some babies first, I called. Did remember? Absolutely, positively, my darling Jane. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Poor Roxy. This is horrifying. <coughs> so I'll make a horror game where, like, you're set in a super dark setting, but the enemies are just these, like, very, very animated, brightly colored entities chasing after you.
like reverse it on everything where it's like you know like people make like these super bright and cheerful things and it's like uh then you have like this horrible monster coming after you kind of a thing and it's supposed to be like this reversal and like things get dark but if you start in like a like something like like fucking someplace like yarnum dark and just gothic as shit <clears throat> like run down like cyberpunk something but like the things coming after you are just hyperactive like brightly colored things coming after you <coughs> i got that saying welcome you came at a really good uh good point <laughs> <clears throat> Jane, I think Roxy is playing hide and seek with us. Jake, I think you're right. Oh boy, this should be a blast. <clears throat> you there, the man in the tall rumpled hat. Have you seen our friend Roxy? What's the matter, little fella? Cat got your tongue? Yoo-hoo! Roll all! <laughs> Only old Hilton free. Wherever has my BFFC gotten off to? <clears throat> shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Jake, I think I know what the trouble might be. What's that, Jane? Spooky side of jump scares in reverse. Yes, actually, that'd be a good one. <laughs> That's a good uh, good analogy. Thank you, Midnight. <clears throat> Roxy is still embarrassed about that one time she couldn't kiss me. She is? <clears throat> Roxy, did you hear me? You think I didn't know about that, but I actually did know about that. Dirk told me once it was a secret, but it's perfectly fine. There's no need to be unhappy at all. <clears throat> I will let you kiss me right now if to make up for it. I just need my desk. <clears throat> uh, that way you can overcome your personal problems and everything will be wonderful. Oh, yes, let's all overcome our personal problems and grow together as better human beings. How does that sound, Roxy? Doesn't that sound great? Come here and give uh, me a big, happy smooch. Oh, my God, I can't wait for this to happen. Tipsy nostalgia began pestering her imperious condescension. Better wish, please help. My friends are completely insane. Can you throw me back in jail? Girl, you made a cocoon. Deal with it. <laughs> her imperious condescension logged the fuck out. She goes to the back. <laughs> yeah, she really does. She's like, fucking help, please. I'd rather fucking deal with you. <laughs> She's around here somewhere, Jane. I can feel it. Marco Polo. Marco Polo. <clears throat> you stupid shit. That's how the game works. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's horrifying. That's horrific. <laughs> oh, that's so scary. Marco. Polo. Oh, that's so scary. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like... <coughs> I'm so boned. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bump. Here we go. Oh no, Roxy's dancing outside the canvas area. Help Jake to hug her back on the screen. Help Jake to hug. I should click, click, then, and then. How many do you have to click? Uh... <laughs> you gotta do it to the mode. There we go, got it. Engage Trickster mode, there's... Honestly, the ones I remember, Trickster Roxy has the best design. Like, I love, I love Trickster Roxy's design. <clears throat> oh. Well, yeah, here we are. <laughs> Look at these fucking assholes just flailing down here. Trickster Dirk, well, we'll see it. Stern fatherly disapproval. Jake, thanks for bumping me with that punk I being such a square. My pleasure, Roxy. <clears throat> This is so much better, LOL. I'm max overjoyed about stuff. Hip hip hooray! Jane, you're right. Kissing you would be super cathartic and make up for all my past mistakes, plus feeling bad about myself. Overcoming personal problems rules! Roxy and Jane, this is so capital that we are together like this and stuff. And happy and stuff. My brain just was like, you're never gonna fucking erase it and put something else in there. I agree so much, Jake, but the fun hardly seems complete without Dirk. Oh, golly, you're right. Let's go see him straight away. Well, hey, hold up, you guys. Before we go see Dirk and get triple Mary plus babies or whatever, I want to make a pit stop. A pit stop, Roxy? Yeah, we got to get Fefna in, in on this shit. Nobody ever considers poor, dear, sweet, 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 Oh, oh, you're spot on, Roxy. Let's go get, let's go get Fefford and make this party that much sweeter. Damn straight. Hey, who wants to get wasted? Oh, me, me. I do, I do. We, I love booze. That's why I was thinking of giving, uh, uh, booze. What was I even thinking? Giving it up. We all make mistakes, Roxy. Yes, the important thing is that we learn from them and th uh, uh, then solve our personal problems by facing them head on. Hell, oh, yeah. Can you please just leave me here to die? 
Not a chance, wise guy. You're the life of the party. This is it. This is my punishment for doing evil, terrible things when, uh, when I used to be living, used to be, used, we need to be living with people. I guess I deserve this, and yet, nobody deserves this. Nobody. <laughs> Aerosol's mood he really fucking is. Especially now in this situation. <laughs> oh, look at these fucking monsters. So, uh, hey there, unholy combination of Nepeta and Feffri. How have you been? Wow, that was a dumb question. I'm, so I'm sorry. That is pretty awkward, isn't it? Hmm. Well, what, what was that? Fuck, I can't hear a goddamn thing with these flippin' idiots doing their candy uh, giggle rampage. I can barely even uh, hear my own words over this uh, shrill din of hideous pink. It's so fucking hard to see, yeah. Don't ask me why I think it, it sounds pink. It just does, okay? <coughs> oh, that's a lot of aerosol. Uh -huh. <coughs> anyway, I guess I've been wanting to say, part of me is sorry for killing part of you. I mean, not that it was a part of me that used to be your mate script, because obviously that part w wasn't responsible for that scurrilous shit. But the part of me that used to be more open with part of you. It's very difficult, Pen. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 uh. And wherein an epida is is uh, just kind of a weirdly unrelated bystander in this whole myth mess. So I guess the whole uh, the whole me is sorry to Nepeter how in to put up with this shitty low triangle fallout. Ugh, this is absolutely the sh shittiest apology situation I can even fucking fathom. Can't even get some legitimate feeling of remorse off my chest because the sh chest has contradictory feelings of two people and the recipient is the amalgamation of the wronged party and somebody who could not give a bloody shitting fuck about any of this. Never mind. This uh, con reconciliation has been an absolute disaster. <clears throat> Can we at least come to terms on the sound policy of fuck Gamzee? Because all of this, all I'm saying is basically just fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh, I'm not reading all of them. <laughs> Just turn around. Dick. <laughs> Dirk just. <laughs> Son of a fuck. <laughs> hey, Sergeant the Square Weaver here. Notice anything different about us, Dirk? <clears throat> I think so. Did you decide to forfeit anything resembling dignity for the rest of your lives along with the hope of accomplishing anything constructive ever again? Nice, no, silly goof. The difference is that we solved all our personal problems. Roxy, are you drunk? I mean, in addition to being high on something and magically insane? <clears throat> the only thing I'm drunk on is good feelings due to facing all my problems instead of run away. Plus, also, maybe a little alcohol, but that's him. <clears throat> Solved all your problems. Yeah, like you guys look like you're in great shape. It's so true. You should try it. Try what? Solving your <laughs> your pro pros. That's what I'm gonna call problems now. <clears throat> Fuck off. My problems are fine. Watch. I'll go first. Dirk, did you? No. I got this huge fucking crunch on you. Yes. <clears throat> oh my god. It's so good to give him that off my chest. We should get married, Dork. You wanna get married me? Uh, no. But we're all getting married, everyone's doing his chain shake, me all getting way fucking bitch rolled up in here. No as I mentioned some babs in the worst. I'm playing that sex happens. <laughs> Roxy, even if blurting out random ass confessions in any way and situated solving personal problems, it's not like that was ever a secret. I always knew you liked me. You probably you told me like practically every fucking day. Okay, yes, that is true enough. But I never said let's get married and have some bobbies, did I? No, you actually suggested that too, a number of times. Oh, I did? Well, this time I got a wedding ring. Come here, should I push this fucker on? No. <laughs> slap swat. <laughs> just fucking slapping her hand away. Come on, Zerk. Just popping on. You'll be helping me solve a personal problem. Stop it. 
Yours too? Don't you want a dumb propose to get the fuck out? This won't solve any problems. You're all fucking morons. <coughs> no, you're drunk, you see. We're happy now. Bye-bye, challenging interpersonal issues forever. You're not happy. You're demented. How exactly does any of this solve your problems getting all candied up to go flush an however many months of sobriety down the toilet? Because, um... Um... Do not change the subject, Strider. You got to kiss me while I was dead. That wasn't fair. Help me rectify this problem of mine, where I have no recollection of our sweet snog. No way! Dritch, ring, now, brink my guts. Get away from me, I have a sword! <laughs> I have a sword! <clears throat> Screw your anime sword. Marry me half my babies. I'll use it, I swear. It's sharp, and it's awesome, and it's a sword! <laughs> Shush your mouth and make beautiful loaf to fish your wife. I'm too fucking cool for this! Aw, oh, the sad Dirk face. <coughs> Fuck it. <coughs> I sucked an air too quickly. <clears throat> Mr. Bro, listen to my advice. I think you should just go for it. <clears throat> this is something not only from a mystical guide, not only from, uh, from an alternate version of yourself, but from a dude with a spectacular body. <clears throat> we both know you're never gonna be happy with under ordinary circumstances. You just not have the right kind of think pan to sustain that emotion. Look at me. I need to emerge a sweaty guy who loves horses in order to be happy. <clears throat> Gosh, horses, Dirk. I think about them all the time while I flex and it makes me smile. It seems that similarly extreme measures will be needed for you as well. Oh, uh, whatever. <clears throat> yeah, dog. <clears throat> you there, small servant with the umbrella. Fetch me a towel at once. Uh... <laughs> Click the nest. Oh, Dirk escaped to the side. Oh my gosh. It takes... Or, I mean, I'm gonna do it. It takes a thousand to do it. I love that he's just fucking standing there. Thank you, Pen. Thank you, Pen. <laughs> Help him escape, yeah. <laughs> Between hell no and fuck this. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, the sound. Oh, the sound. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> Almost there. <sighs> Success, play again. No or fuck no. It turns into a yes. <laughs> Yay! Whoopee! Yeah! Ugh. Come on, Zerg dance for us. Oh, yes, Zerg, please do a dance. <coughs> no. Don't, don't be so, so, don't be a prude. Stop being a, so, so a tight ass and cut that rug. Yeah, Dirk, do the robot. No. Yeah, Dirk, let's see you poop and lock. No. Dirk, Dirk, do the mush potato. No, I want to see some cabbage patches. Do a cabbage patch, Dirk. Absolutely not. Haha, <laughs> yeah, dude, this is heavily ridiculous. Your brain is so impenetrable, not even this candy magic can lighten you up. I'm so motherfucking amused by this. Shut up! <laughs> no, Dirk, he's right. Just give in to feeling good and drop him props. I'm afraid he can't. Hyper Sugar Roxy. <clears throat> His mind is as dense as my muscles are strong! By the way, you would like to feel- Would you like to feel my muscles, Roxy? Oh, yes, Fox. God damn it. Why did I listen to you? Nothing's changed. You may have merged with a sweaty horse guy, but you still sabotage me every chance you get. What's worse is you still actually believe you're helping me. What a crock of shit. Ah, uh, don't be so mean to him, Dirk. Your muscles spread is fun and cool. Oh my god. You should feel his muscles, Dirk. Wow, he is so ripped. Let's swoon. <clears throat> you heard the woman, Dirk. Quit stallion. Stallion. Fucking... <clears throat> Trot on over here and touch my goof darn muscles. For the last time, I'm not touching your stupid muscles. And Roxy, just so you know, if you hook up with my douche with Sprite, I'm gonna be hella pissed. Dag, those muscles are hard as fuck. Jane, you wanna ink? You wanna ink on this action? Yes, I surely do. Ooh, these rally are wonderful muscles. Jake, you simply must feel these muscles. Boy, howdy! I think your double hooves is friggin' cut. He is a truly a man's man. Dirk, it seems my muscles are a hit. Are you absolutely sure you won't feast your hands on this great A beef? Please, someone, make it stop. Hey, I know. If Dirk wants to keep being a drag, then maybe Shades MC Muscle Spray wants to quadruple marry us instead? 
There's an ID. I did that. I did that. <clears throat> I need to get through this fucking panel. <coughs> Whoa, hey, ladies, let's not be hasty in excluding Dirk from our happy marital plans. Dirk has been wanting to say that before I saw, solved all my problems, was feeling so bad about things with you. But now that I'm happy, I have the answer on how to make everyone happy. You, and me, and Roxy, and of course Jane, who was in love with me just like you. So I found out the best way to resolve romantic conflict is for everybody to marry each other. What, Shay, you pal, want to get married to me? Jake, I'm not marrying shit. And frankly, you've got some nerve floating down here babbling about marriage with that shit-eating grin and that dumb little pumpkin on your head. After what you, after the way you dished me and ignored all my messages? You know what? If you didn't like me anymore and wanted to stop hanging out, then fine, I could handle that. But to just completely shut me out like I didn't even deserve an explanation, that's just cowardly. You couldn't, uh, why couldn't you man, just man up and talk to me? You act like I don't have feelings, like I'm some kind of robot. Well, you're wrong, I do. And I'm using those feelings by starting to feel like you're actually kind of an asshole. So whatever you were so afraid to tell me before your fucking sugar high, don't worry about it. I'll save you the trouble. It's over, Jake. Excuse me, you there. Unsavory concoction of royalty and peasantry. <clears throat> Come grope my humongous biceps. No bloody way. Way. Yes, do it. Equith, why are you acting uh, why are you acting like such such a bald sniffing toolbox? What the hell happened to you? And why are we wearing that guy's Lame glass it. Take them off. You you and you are more style than that. All right, no takers there. I see only a pair of grotesque philistines blustering through the same coarse ignorance tuzzle, tunnel. <clears throat> what about you, Miss <coughs> Unpalatable Combination of Feffrey and... And... Oh. Oh, no. What? Dirk. Dirk, help. I'm having a problem. <clears throat> what? A part of me is having a very strong emotional reaction, which I don't like. It's a part of myself I'm ashamed of. What part? The troll part. It is something shameful once. I do not feel such emotions to be acceptable, an acceptable feature of my new existence. How can I make this feeling go away? Dirk, I command you to instruct me. I don't eliminate these emotions. <clears throat> Can't help you, bro. This is what you asked for. You said you were scared to not exist. Well, this is what it's like to keep on existing. Better figure out a deal. No, that's awful. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm trying to... I, I, Arqueous's voice is... F I don't know what it is. <clears throat> and never not to die. Ah, that's fair. We're almost done. Bad. you gotta go? Take it easy, Raven. Have a good one. Take care of yourself. Uh, I don't know what to do. With only stone and strength, both muscular and cerebral, how can I be so stymied so? Dying was better than having to live with the shame of ha that was, which was ironically caused by the very death in question. Equith, what the fuck are you talking about? <clears throat> you, sea dwelling mustard blood. Half of me commands the, pe the present half of you to resolve my emotional turmoil while humbly requesting the noble half of you to do the same. The other half of me doesn't give a flying hoot about your lame cast blood. <clears throat> And is just kind of freaking out internally about this. <laughs> well, wow, Zach. You might actually be more a meth than me. I'm, I'm fucking impressed. But yeah, talking it out when you got, uh, aimed the rekill- When you got aimed, a reconciliation helped. Me and, and the Feffery side and this abomination had a nice talk earlier, sort of. Say what you two- what you got to say. Just don't mess with the Feffery Bert too much, okay, man? She's very dear to me and very dear uh, to me. It means both parts- I mean, got. Mm -hmm. I mean, both parts of me. Got it? You're right. I must speak to her. Nepeta, I swore that I would protect you, but I failed. In that moment my, of weakness, my reverence for a superior got the better of me, and instead of standing up for you, I decided uh, to bow before a stupid <laughs> juggalo or something. What? Wait, I actually did that? What the fresh nicker <laughs> is wrong with me? I'm not a perfect man, Nepeta, nor am I a perfect. <clears throat> uh, am I perfect, as you might say? What the fudge? A cap on. Let's pull that sh** together, dude. This emotion emotional state is mad abysmal. But in any case, I hope you can find it within your kind. All of Pumpus get to forgive- No! Gosh dang it, I don't deserve to be forgiven. What am I saying? <laughs> saying that I pulled on you was so bad, I just can't even- Hey, can you maybe wrap this up, this up psychotic- uh, Wrap up the psychotic apology, you wretched freak? Wow, you're actually making me look like the model of mental health. Anyway, you're confusing the Feffery side of her with your weird emotional baggage. Allow me to finish, sir slash peon. <clears throat> Feffrey, try not to listen to anything he, he says. You've got enough heart, heartache to endure without lumping Nepeta's twisted relationship with this horse kissing muscle fuck. Nepeta, you will disregard any conversation di directed at Feffrey and s focus solely on my attempted statements of contrition. Man, what? All right. <laughs> Man, what right do you have to order Nepeta to do anything, let alone listen to your conflicted whining? <clears throat> Feth, can you believe with this guy? Do not address Feffrey while I'm talking to Nepeta. <laughs> this is fucking confusing. It's confusing to Nepeta, who is critical in absolving me of conflict, even though I probably don't deserve it. Fuck your absolution. I take back my advice. 
<coughs> Stop talking to Nepeta and leave Fefri alone. No, yes, no, yes, no. I'm not doing your dumbass yes, no shit. Then leave us, for I and my Moirel have much to discuss. No, you flippin' don't. This conversation is over. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. This has to stop. I can't, you, see, you're tearing Fefida apart. Oh, we're gonna start the next stream with that, huh? He. Eesh. Eesh. All right, well, that's a stream, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. A sad start. It's gonna be a sad start next week. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging by and watching, everybody. Um, everyone in the chat for hanging out, and we got to the fucking insanity that is the tricksters. How about that? And if you're watching this on YouTube later, make sure you click the like button if you liked it. You know, if you liked it. If you didn't, you know, it's fine too. Hope you didn't. You know. <laughs> and subscribe if you did. Um, new videos every Monday, Wednesday, or every Monday and Friday, almost every Wednesday, every fourth Wednesday I'm off at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, Mondays and Wednesdays are my stream VODs. There's a link down in the description that takes you to my Twitch channel. You can see uh, schedules and uh, everything that's going on there. Comment, what was your favorite part about this? Was it uh, the Caliborn and Jake conversation or was it starting the, uh, the Tricksters? Because... <laughs> yeah. And share with your friends. If you had friends who wanted to get in the Homestuck or didn't, like, they, but the, uh, the, the barrier to entry being the fact that it is 8,000 pages long and they don't want to take time to read it, share them this. I can read it to them, in a sense. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks, everyone, in the chat for hanging out today. And I hope to see you all next time. Take it easy, everybody.